Hey guys, welcome to our live chat. I am so glad you're here. Hello, everybody. Uh, again, welcome to the live chat. I have been dying to talk to you guys. Oh, it's just so nice to have some voice of reason here with me today. And I don't mean Jay. He is here with me, but that's... <laughs> I'm here and I'm so excited to talk to you all. Got all the nonsense going on. But here with me is my sometimes voice of reason. Say hello. <laughs> I make no reason. Hello, everybody. This is Jay, also known as Dr. Bad Vibes. You can find me on YouTube and Twitch. And right now, sitting here live. Well, Hong Kong, everybody. I, I'm just so glad to see you all. Thank you for joining in the live stream. So if you're watching here live, what I like to do is just say hello, read some comments. I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to talk about with you guys. I have some pictures to share and some topics of conversation. Uh, and I can't wait to read what you guys have on your mind as well. And if you're joining me after the fact, hey, thanks for watching the replay. It really does help, and I appreciate it so much. I have so many of you saying that you watch the replay and fold clothes or do your laundry, whatever it is. And, and I, I want you to know I appreciate that so much. And if you ever have, like, thoughts that you want to chime into, too, please leave them in the comments. I always try to go back and read them, so... Again, I am Jen, honk honk everyone. If you're new here, I honk because one of Megan's followers told me I sound like a drunk goose. I've been honking and I've been showing everybody my honkers ever since. <laughs> Jay, what are your thoughts on that? I like the honk stuff. <laughs> I do find it funny that an insult became pretty much a slogan slash trademark for the channel. <laughs> Me too. All right. I'm going to read some of these comments and we'll get to some new stuff. But again, thank you for joining me. So in no particular order, just jumping into the comments. Um, Let's see. I saw we were wishing somebody a happy birthday. I'd like to wish you a happy birthday too. I'm just trying to find who it is because I missed it. It was earlier. Happy birthday, Kathy. Happy birthday, Kathy. Thank you for joining us. Happy birthday to you. Honk, honk. I won't sing, but happy birthday. Um, let's see here. Yay, I'm here. Yay, you're here, Tina. I'm glad you're here. MW says the car parkles are as sharp as two marbles wrapped in a sponge. I love that. We have so much to talk about with those two. Yes, I've seen the news that just came out. I actually did a video earlier on what their quote unquote sources have said, meaning Megan and Omid. Uh, but now they've officially put something out through their spokesperson because they want us to think they're important enough to have a spokesperson. We'll talk about that. Don't worry. But let me keep saying hi to some people. Hi, Shell. Thanks so much for being here. Hong Kong. Hi, Lizzie. Elaine. Me here. Uh, Ian is here. Hi, Ian. I hope you're well. Ritz, what the flock? I know, right? Let's talk about it. Sheesh, I have so much on my brain. Uh, as we go through this, be sure to pay attention to the pictures of Catherine. She's hard to miss, right? Some of my favorites of Catherine in the background, just to make the day a little brighter. And of course, um, thoughts with Catherine, hopeful for a speedy recovery, of course. All right, John with the first super of the chat. Thank you so much for that, John. John says, honk honk to Lady Goose and 142,000 drunk geese. Can you believe it? We hit 142,000. Thank you, John, for that super. That truly means so much. You're always so kind and supportive. And I love that you keep count because I'm not good at it. And thank you for that. And I can't wait to hit. I appreciate every 142,000 of you. I just can't believe I'm about to hit 150,000 subs. That's crazy. Crazy. Uh, it was actually, I think, a year ago that I hit 50,000 because it was March, I believe. We were, we were at Disney and I hit 50,000 subs and I thought that was like huge. So I, what a difference a year makes, right? Crazy. All right. Um, Sweet Caroline, great name, says, I heard someone on X say that Megan has launched a complaint. I've heard that too. I've heard that too. Yep, I'll get to that. Hey, Jill, you're here. Greetings, Jill. Not related to Tom. One of my Patreon members had such an interesting point, and it's on my list of topics. So, Jill, thank you for being here and being one of my voices of reason. I appreciate that. Hey, before I forget, I told the Sidley twins I'd give them a shout out. As you know, they were so kind to me last week. I had taken it off. I mean, I'd put up videos, but I'd Kind of step back and was filming for the other channel and um 
they recorded with me for several hours and they were really kind about it. And anyway, they're great. They're lovely. So I told them I would plug them and I want to tell you all that, to, let's see, not tomorrow, Friday. They don't know their time yet, but they're going to announce it on this Friday. They're going to be doing a drinking game with the Oprah interview. So I, for one, can't wait to see what that is. I feel like anything to do with that Oprah interview, I will be sloshed within three seconds because it's a mess. But anyway, so as soon as I know more from the Sidley twins, I will make that announcement forwarded on to you all. So can't wait to see that. Hello, Hollis. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate that. Nana, hi, everyone. My first live. Well, hello, Nana. We're so glad you're here. I really appreciate you being here. It means so much to me. I can't believe how many of us are on. Let's see. Yeah, we're almost at 400 right now, and we just got started. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining in. We have so much to talk about. We will get there. I just like to say hellos first and uh, read some of your comments, and then uh, I have two pages of notes to get to. So, <laughs> oh, you guys, I seriously... Smoke has been coming out of my ears over this whole thing, and um, I know it has been for you, too. <sighs> Thank you for being my voice of reason through all of this, because I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like the whole world is gaslighting us right now, and I hate that word, but I don't know how else to explain it. That's truly how I feel. Like, up is down. Everything is wrong. <laughs> all right, Renee says, Catherine, Princess of Wales is always stunning. Love chatting along with everyone. We love having you. I feel the same way. Uh, Christine says, love our twins. Me too. They are so sweet. I really enjoy talking to them. We were talking a little bit earlier. They're, they're so nice. They're so lovely behind the scenes and on their channel. Always willing to help and always so kind. Uh, Elaine says the twins are great. They really are. Jennifer, the Chio, I hope I'm saying that right. Says, remember to hit the like button. Thank you, Jennifer. That does help me out. I appreciate that. Don says, good afternoon, Jen. Honk, honk. Thank you for being here. Steven says the twins have 71 pages of transcript. Oh, so they were going to do it, um, I think, originally either tonight or tomorrow night, but they pushed it because they said they had other stuff that they wanted to work on. So they're, oh, no, I think a lot of people had to work and they're worried about being hungover. So they decided Friday would be better. So the, I just talked to him right before the live chat and it sounds like it's going to be Friday. They don't know the time, but as soon as they announce it, we'll get that out. So. Um, I want to play. I'm not really a big drinker, but I'll swig Coke Zero. <laughs> we'll get Jay drunk. How about that? <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How is everyone? Again, before we get into the darkness that has been the last couple of days, let's talk about some good stuff. Somebody tell me some good news. What's going on with you all? Uh, Nana says, I just watched HG Tutor. Yeah. So... Uh, I keep hearing I need to go watch him. I definitely will. I love his voice. Sorry, Jay. It's the only other voice that I like besides yours. I like a lot of voices, but <laughs> I do. Well, that makes his voice better than mine. <laughs> I know you haven't watched as much HG Tutor as me, but I've definitely played him for you before. Do you remember? He talks really deep and kind of slow. Yeah, I remember he's very slow and deliberate. I think if I actually, you know follow that channel i'd probably have to play it at like 2x to, yeah. get, to get to to you know get to the point <laughs> oh but we're not knocking him we love him but yeah i get i see i get transfixed by his voice so uh, i get it if i wasn't so transfixed it might it might be a little slow but i do enjoy listening to hg i want him to tell me that sounds very sexual but i mean i was gonna say i want him to tell me a bedtime story but not like that <laughs> hi david thanks so much for being here please pet flossy for me how are you so glad you made it. Yeah, we just got started. I'm about to get into the news, just saying some hellos. Let's see here. JJR, thanks for being here. Uh, is it if and B says nothing important was edited? I don't understand any of this. Me either. We are gonna get into that. I have so many thoughts on this, and I'm I'm honestly so frustrated. I I'm trying to keep my head on straight. Um, Teresa, thank you so much for being a member for one month. If you guys are like, what's a member? It's hitting that join button. You get access to the emojis and I, it just supports the channel. Thank you, Teresa, for being a member from us. It says, let's all stand behind Princess Catherine 100%. You got it. I am 100% on the same page. Uh, I'm, 
I'm not going to name names, but I'm just going to make a general, I did name names on Patreon coming up, but in general, general blanket statement, there have been, let's see, how can I say this? YouTubers and news outlets that have really disappointed me. We'll kind, we'll get into the news outlets. I don't like to trash talk all their YouTubers, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I've had a lot of you saying, I've unsubscribed blankety blank, and I'm like, I get it. Uh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Marilyn says letter writing campaign to properly respectfully call her Catherine Princess of Wales. I'm with you. So I've gone on about that. I personally feel strongly about that. People are like, why do you always do that? I just think it's a respect thing. But you will see in print sometimes, I do believe, I'm not standing up for the people that do that, but I'm saying I think sometimes people call her Kate because people still search Kate. So I know in the description of my videos, I do put in Kate as well as Catherine because it's about searching. And honestly, because you know, I'm somewhat removed from this outside of Jen. Like I just, I thought that was her name. That's like all I'd ever heard. And then yeah. So uh, there's probably a lot of people like that. Uh, it could be laziness, you know, like how yeah. people misspell drive through, make, <laughs> to make it easier to fit. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they just don't want to type Catherine all the way up. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, Hollis, for the super. Hollis, you're always so kind to me, and you brighten my day, and I really appreciate that. Hollis is one of my Patreon members and always so supportive, and I appreciate that very much. Uh, Deidre is tweeting out, or sorry, hashtagging, I stand with Princess Catherine. Me too. All right, let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, read some of these. Here we go. Marcia says, talk TV. Okay. No, I'm not okaying you. I'm saying I agree. I wasn't going to read that. <laughs> I'm not trying to specifically name and shame other YouTubers, but yeah, <laughs> I hear you. And it is frustrating. And I, I feel your pain. They are one of several that I am disappointed in, in this whole thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not trying to be that person, but I'm telling you, I'm, I go deep in Patreon in the next two episodes because there are some people that have kind of shown their true colors and that's all I need to know. How about that? All right. Um, <laughs> but I don't, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not that channel. I'm not trying to call out people here. So let's keep going. Um, shall we talk about the elephant in the room? Let me start with this. Okay. First of all, let's start with this. Ta -da! Beautiful picture. I see nothing but a lovely picture of a lovely family taken by a loving husband. That's a lot of love, but it is. I think Catherine looks beautiful. I think the kids are angelic. I mean, they're little, what is it, cherubs? They're so cute. Uh, the little goslings are so cute, little royal goslings. And uh, I think she looks absolutely beautiful. And again, I'm going to go through all my talking points in a second, but I just want to say, and I don't mean to beat this dead horse, but I think it bears repeating. She did not have to put out this photo. I don't think it's right the way she's being treated. I don't think it's fair. She did not owe anybody anything. I love that she did put it out, but I don't think she owed anybody anything. And she did. She put this out to wish... Uh, the reason I'm awkward around that about Mother's Day is because in America, our Mother's Day is in May. So that's why I didn't even realize the different places. I just didn't even think about it. I mean, it makes sense that different places have different Mother's Days. But um, so that's why I was like, oh, it's Mother's Day. Okay, cool. Um, so if you're wherever you live and wherever you're from celebrates Mother's Day that day, she put it out to celebrate Mother's Day. And so it's just beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Leslie is saying exactly what I said, which is fabulous picture. I wish I looked that good. Me too. Right. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous family. Gorgeous picture. I have nothing to say. It's a private moment that she decided of her own. She decided to put it out there. It wasn't a royal engagement. So I just think I don't, I I just, it's not fair. <laughs> I know that's very childish. I don't know how else to say it. It's not fair what's going on. And we're going to go into all the reasons why this isn't right, but it's not right what's going on. And I, ha I just, just like I feel so compelled to stand up for the queen, I feel so, com Her Majesty the Late Queen, I feel so compelled to stand up for Catherine. Catherine can't really speak out on this and won't. And, and she's, 
more classy than I am. But I mean, this is just awful what she's being subjective to, subjected to. And, and it tells me a lot, right? It tells me a lot. And that's what I mean by other YouTubers showing their true colors, uh, publications showing their true colors, so supposed reporters showing their true colors. And listen, you know, one of the things I've talked about when I show those Megan sites are, I hate, I, I think it's wrong that they put these blanket, listen, I'm not standing up for Megan sites, they're awful people, but I'm saying like they put these blanket statements, you cannot have any other opinion but my opinion. That's not what this is. Everybody's welcome to their own opinion. But in my opinion, what's this is just so wrong. What's going on? And and I'm having trouble seeing any other side to this. And so I, I just think people are showing. I think the ones that are in it for clicks and money are showing themselves. How about that? That's a nicer way of saying it. Um. Yeah, Lynn, thank you, is saying uh, sane people just see a lovely picture. Catherine hopefully will come out stronger. Amen to that. I feel the exact same way. Um, all right, let's get into this. Let's really talk about this because I do have so many thoughts on this and I'm dying to read your thoughts on this. And again, a huge thank you to everybody for being so kind and so lovely and, and so wonderful in the comments. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. All right. This was shared by the British Prince on Twitter. And I don't know this person, but I always like his tweets very much. Excuse me, one second. <laughs> I yelled so much into my mic today, I actually like scratched my throat. So I keep <laughs> having this dry patch in my throat. All right. The British prince shared this and it says the princess of Wales may be a public figure. She is not public property. And this was, I guess, originally posted by Glamour, which I'm like, whoa, okay, cool. <laughs> you know? But I just, I thought that was so well said and the perfect sentiment of how I'm feeling as well. And, and how many of you, I believe, I'm not trying to speak for you, but how many of you seem to be feeling as well. Uh, David Alp says, exactly, Jen, can you imagine feeling poorly after a major operation being attacked like this from the press? Disgusting and appalling. Thank you, David. See, it's it's you guys. It's it's all of you right now in the chat that are keeping me sane because I've been, again, Jay's been, I can't believe his priorities, but he's been working a lot lately because, you know, we were kind of gone last week. So he's trying to play catch up and so I, I've just been like reading all this and I just occasionally yell upstairs, you won't believe this crap. <laughs> it's true, I do. Yeah, even, so I don't really use Twitter that much other than look at me, laugh at stuff, and, you know, sometimes promote my video game channel. But partly, I guess, you know, I, I look at the conspiracy theories on Twitter because they make me laugh. So that's a lot of things that pop up. But then out of nowhere, all this Catherine news started popping up on my Twitter feed, and I'm like, what did I look at to cause this? It's just strange and such a non-issue to me. I mean, um, I mean, I wasn't aware of the, I mean, the only thing that kind of makes it news, I guess, is they don't, they're not supposed to digitally alter photos, you know, but that's it's just, personal. but yeah, it's a personal photo. That's just, I mean, like, it, even if they did, like, who cares? Everybody does. I mean, hell, even if we, if our kid has photos taken at school, like it has all these little add-ons, like whiten their teeth or make their eyes look less stoned if they <laughs> blinked in the middle of it. It's totally, I mean, it's not how they were to be, but I mean, it's not anything new for public figures to alter photos. I mean, I feel like even I mean, so many of the ones of like Megan and Harry have been altered. Oh, I mean, how much yeah. is that? Like even with Jen, like how much has that been called out here? You may just be like, oh yeah, look what she did. Huh, huh. I mean, that's the end of it. It's not like a freaking, you know, international incident. Like all the news is seeming to make it. I don't, that's the weird thing to me. Like now that I've noticed it, I'm just like, why is everybody reporting on such a non-issue? It's, it's so weird. It's like they were just waiting for anything to go after her. For reasons I don't understand. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you have been listening to me. Yay. <laughs> he just said, what? <laughs> Lady T, thank you so much for hitting that join button. I really appreciate that. Honk, honk. Um, I really do. All right. Um, yeah, so I, I just have so many thoughts on this. I'm trying to keep them in order. So let's go on to this. All right. So earlier in the day, Earlier today, I put up a video about 
Harry and Meghan sources, and I'm using big dumb air quotes on that because we know who their sources is, are, uh, I would say it's, in my opinion, Megan and Omid are the sources. But this time now, right before recording, they have broken their silence. And by that, I mean, I think it was a spokesperson for Archwell, which I thought Archwell was bye-bye now. <laughs> Isn't it that other dumb? It doesn't matter. Who cares? Um, They have broken their silence to speak out to deny that anyone inside their camp would have made claims. All right. I'm just so disgusted by the two. I'm not even trying to give them a second of publicity. In fact, let's get them off the screen and go back to the picture. But know that they have spoken out. But they haven't spoken out because they never actually say anything. They, you know what keeps... Okay, here's one of the things that keeps bouncing around in my head. Think about the Oprah interview, 2021. Megan goes on and says she's had it so much worse than Catherine, Princess of Wales. Uh, and, and saying she had so much worse in the press while insulting Catherine, and I won't insult her by saying the name, but while insulting Catherine by pulling up an old name that the press used to call Catherine and how much worse it was for Megan. And I'm saying, no, no, she hasn't. Megan just makes these stinks and makes these claims with nothing to back them up. And so she, she told all these lies on Oprah. They've been proven lies. And yet here it is in front of us. We can see that Catherine is getting this unfair treatment. She's out on medical leave and people are demanding to know what's going on and demanding to see her. We don't, she doesn't owe us a blank, blank thing. She really doesn't. She's out on medical leave. What else do we, I mean, not you guys, I'm not, <laughs> what else do, do the media and do the sugars want from her? I, I don't even care what the sugars want, but I'm saying, what else does the media want from her? Like, no one demanded to see Megan's medical records to prove anything when she was making, in my opinion, ludicrous claims that are similar to Diana's. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. The ones, um, you know, at the, uh, what was it, Royal Albert Hall. Those claims. Uh, nobody demanded to see Megan's medical records because she'd be freaking out. Nobody demanded to see Megan's medical records with um, her claims of, loss, shall we say. Uh, and, and it's just completely different treatment. And, you know, Megan's out giving these speeches. Wasn't she just giving one about, again, YouTube doesn't like the word, so I'm going to mispronounce it on purpose. Go with me here. Bullying, right? <laughs> being a bull, uh, being a cyber bull. She was giving speeches about this with no actual plan or anything to solve anything. Just whining and trying to make herself what more important but nothing to add to this and trying to play victim she has the chance to stop her followers but no to me this is encouraging them because instead of speaking out about this she's like we didn't do it ha 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 you know what i mean like i i picture like an evil villain like twirling a mustache <laughs> you know and so to me it's just adding on they're adding on i'm not I'm not leaving out her dumb husband either. Doofus is adding on to this. Both of them are. And you talk about hypocrisy. I'm so, I'm a broken record on this, but I'm not going to let this go. So we're talking about Photoshop. Photoshop. Of all things. When they Photoshop everything from his hairline to some people believe in their opinion, her bumps. You know what I mean? Like in everything in between. Photoshop is what they're going to call Catherine out on. They're calling, again, I'm going back to this, they're, they're calling out the cyberbull stuff, and yet their followers are the worst of the cyberbulls. Um, they are the loudest critics who try to, sh I mean, shut down their own critics. It's just the hypocrisy is unbelievable. So what, their people are calling out some Photoshopping. And... And saying that it's not truthful. Well, when have they ever known, been known to be truthful? Harry recently has had to backtrack on his own book because he now says that the <laughs> substance, I can't say it on YouTube, stories were uh, inflated to sell books. Whereas before his whole thing was finally, I get to tell the real truth. Blech. 
he doesn't know the real truth. He's lost sight of everything. Both of them have. And, and yeah, it's all about themselves. And any chance to try to stomp on Catherine, of all people, they love to do it. So I'm just, I'm outraged. I'm disgusted. I'm sickened. They're evil, vile people. And their followers are just as bad. They're the, the ringleaders of this. And, and they're all as bad as each other. Marty Brown, thank you so much for the super. I really appreciate that. Marty Brown writes, hi, Jen and Jay. Hong Kong, everyone. Jen, I want to apologize for leaving such a long rant in your comment section. Oh, no, you never have to apologize. No, no, no. I love your comments. Don't apologize. I love reading your comments. No, 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 no. But thank you for that. That's very kind. No, no, that's what my comments are for. Rant away. I probably feel the same way. I try to answer as many comments as I can. It's just, sometimes it's just hard, but I read them all. You guys take the time to write me. I take the time to read them. So thank you for your comments. I appreciate that. And uh, there's somebody else. Oh, thank you, Renee, for hitting the join button so much. All right. Um, let's see here. Sorry, I'm just reading some of these comments and then I have more thoughts. But uh, yeah, JJR says, Harry can't handle the truth. Exactly. Hellbell says, oh, and why haven't our British media called out nutmegs Yep. Agreed. I know. I, I totally feel the same way. CSCD says, does anyone think King Charles needs to step in? I do. I do kind of wish, but then I, when I say that people send me backlash. So, but you know what? I'm not going to pander. I'm going to tell you my honest truth. Yes, he does. I do think so. I think he needs to tell uh, Harry and Meghan to kick rocks because William and Catherine have proven to be hardworking, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, just there for the right reasons. I don't know how I'm, I'm talking like a housewife, but that's, they've proven themselves. And I don't think they have to continue to prove themselves. Whereas Harry and Meghan have proven what they are, evil, awful people who take any opportunity to go on anything, any kind of show or, or podcast or book to air any grievance, even if it's made up, that they can possibly come up with. So yeah, I do think King Charles should step in, in my opinion. But I also think, I don't know, I think, I think when William's in charge, he'll handle it. But still, I don't think we should have to wait till then. All right, let's see here. I got more thoughts on this, but I want to take a break and read some of your comments. Uh, and Jay had some thoughts on this too. Jay is going to tell him to F off in a different language. Uh, German, go ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh I, I don't, I have no idea how you say that in German, but I mean, the whole thing still strikes me as so silly. I mean, any public figure, well, anybody in general, if you Google somebody like what's the worst thing that they did? How many people is it going to be that it's like the worst thing you did was Photoshop a picture, <laughs> a personal photo, <laughs> especially at, you know, who knows why? I don't know. I haven't really. Yeah. Wiggly kids. I mean, she did just have a medical procedure. Maybe there was something, I don't know, but I mean, who cares? <laughs> you know, like people photoshops basic family photos to make teeth white or to like make yeah. the for some reason my eyes always turn red i guess because of blue and being so Devil. pale yeah well yeah or the the inner demon in me <laughs> being captured i mean for real i mean like if you ever take my photo with a flash my eyes are red you know guess what photoshop that way i don't look like i'm possessed <laughs> and i mean that's all i'm getting at so why is this such a big deal it's i mean it's somebody that's like just kind of you know watching from the sidelines i'm like this is just such a non-issue and waste of everything. I don't know. I mean, I guess anything involving negativity with her must get some kind of traction in the news and everybody's like, we got to do it. Or it's being influenced by somebody. I don't know. But yeah, just as an, I guess, a somewhat outsider, I'm so confused by this. I don't, I don't understand. Just friggin' let it go. Oh. Yes, see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, here. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, CSCD, for telling him how to say that in German. I love it. Because he's going to remember that. All right. Uh, Marty Brown again with the super. Thank you for that. You do not have to do that. I really appreciate that. It says Lady C said this is the Harkles' plan to push King Charles 
and hit Princess Catherine hard because they want back into the royal family. Well, that's not how they're going to get it. Uh, that is on my talking points of things to come, but I'll say it now. If anything, it's caused, you know, all of us, I think, to rally around Catherine. Right before I jumped on, uh, I stand with, he was, I stand with Catherine. Some form of that was trending on Twitter. And I know Twitter's a cesspool, but, you know, <laughs> like you can see that people are rallying around her and calling out this BS. But Marty, thank you so much for this. It says, um, let's see. Uh, uh, they know it's Prince William blocking them. Prince William knows what's up. Wow. They have a really blanked up way of trying to get back in the royal family. So that's a, that was something else I wanted to bring up too. You know, recently they seem to be on this campaign, in my opinion, with all these stories put out. They're willing to take a part-time role, or he is with the royal family. Uh, Harry's willing to step back in. Like, bullshit. They will not have him back. But... But he, oh, sorry, Harry is here. Harry, what, what is this you're speaking of? Oh, uh, yes. Nothing pleases me more than to work hard. Um, uh, please call me Pa. I need money. Pa, I need a birthday horse. Um, uh, sorry, I'm, uh, lost in comments here. But, um, yeah, so they had this campaign out where they were, <laughs> They were acting, they were putting things out like trying to start anew in the UK and oh, they want to go back, you know, and do some work in the UK, that kind of thing. Now what? Like they have nothing. I think they're just throwing things at the wall, hoping somebody will talk about them and something will stick. Hey, Mystified. Thanks for being here. Mystified is on Twitter and always tweets really insightful things. So if you haven't followed Mystified, I like to shout her out when I do my Twitter videos. Check her out. This fight says it's so ridiculous with the amount of Megan photoshops to pick on Catherine Princess of Wales for photoshopping. Exactly. That's exactly the point I've been making in a lot of my videos lately because it's bullshit. And, and you know, Megan can cry all she wants and make up, play pretend victim. Uh, and it's not working. We can see through it. We can see what's actually happening with our eyes. But that's what Harry and Meghan love to do is try to pretend like that's not what's happening. Their truth and all that bullshit. Oh, I get so mad. Teresa, thank you so much for the super. Teresa writes, I think the press are peed off because they never got the picture first. I think so too, Teresa. I think so. And I do think uh, it has to do with as, as sick as it is. I keep hearing about... Wanting to know about Catherine's medical situation. And that is so disgusting. I've Again, I don't mean to repeat myself, but I'm so frustrated. I just feel the need to say it again. I can't stand Harry and Meghan. I mean, I after this, I loathe them. I really do. But I don't wish ill because I think that's wrong. And if they were ill, legitimately ill, I'm not asking to see their medical records. You know, because that's, that's blanked up. I want to say it so bad, but I'm not going to. That's blanked up. Like, there's a point where you realize that they're people, these are human beings we are talking about. And the difference is the sugars take it so much further and so much to a disgusting level. I want no part of that cesspool. And so, anyway, I won't even go there. Uh, let's see. Lizzie B. Thank you so much for the super. I really appreciate that. Says at her, sorry, at the panel, her quote logic was, I'm a woman. You're a woman. We're both women. So you should be on my side. So I can't disagree with you because of my gender. And I wonder, isn't that sexist? Exactly. I feel the same way, Lizzie. And it, and it's, con it's when it's convenient for her that she pulls that crap. And yet here we are. It's not that I expect anything and I don't want them to say anything about Catherine Princess of Wales, but just a normal person would say something like, I don't know. No, we didn't have anything to do with it. We're wishing her a speedy recovery. Nope. They can't be bothered because they can't even think of anything for anyone else but themselves. Awful people. Awful. But honestly, I think it'd piss me off just as much because I don't want them talking about our Catherine. Yes, I say our Catherine because she is our Catherine. <laughs> Mystified says it makes me sick too. None of anyone's business. Exactly. There is just no circumstance where you can demand anybody's medical records. I'm going to demand King Charles' medical records. It's not my place. I'm not demanding anything. They can choose to tell me what they want to tell the collective us. You know what I mean? Like when they want, I just, oh, 
disgusting. But I will say, will say, I don't wish this on Catherine. I think it's awful what they're doing to her. But again, I go back to the good news is we're surrounding her, right? I mean, she's, I think she's even more beloved if that's even possible. I do. I think that her, I think that people are seeing what's going on and, and, you know, the media tend to speak the loudest, but it doesn't mean that that's how the masses feel, you know? And, and so I think those of us with a brain can see what's going on and realize how blanked up this is the whole situation. So, oh, um, but yes, Sadie travels says the attacks on Catherine will backfire spectacularly. The press, the media and the Harkles. I think so too. I really, truly do. I think Catherine will come back when she's ready and even stronger. Um, let's see here. Yeah, thank you, Mystified. Excellent question. Where are the women Megan supports? Exactly. Exactly. Um, if she has not, I, I just keep going back to this bullying report. I think it's truly beyond time. Where, where are those bullying reports? Let's open those up and see how she really feels about women. Because from what I hear, and in my opinion, from what I can tell, sure doesn't seem to like them very much so <laughs> yeah um let's see here daughter of darkness hi thanks for being here says let's demand megan's medical records to prove she gave birth ding 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 i was kind of dancing around it but you said it and i'm just reading your comment <laughs> there you go if we can just demand things yeah and that's exactly so M mw kind of says the same thing if we're just demanding things let's see the dna on the children and that's not something i normally talk about and and I'm not going after the children, but that's a fair question. If we're talking, if 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 it's not off limits to ask somebody about medical private, you know, private records, well then why do they demand privacy with their stuff and yet they can't give it to Catherine Princess of Wales? I hope I'm making sense. When I get pissed, I just get in Jay knows when I get in tunnel vision and I just keep repeating myself and I grit my teeth and I punch a wall. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Like smoke is coming my out of my ears right now. Hi, sunshine. Thanks for being here. It says M isn't anywhere near the same league as Catherine. You're absolutely right. Um, Lady T, thanks so much for the super. Says they're so afraid of Prince William that they're trying to get back in before King Charles changes his mind. I can't believe everyone can't see through them. I'm with you. I can't believe people. I can't. I just can't believe this is where the press is going. After all the lies, after all the BS, after everything that has been proven fictional. You know, if nothing else, if let's say you're a newcomer to all this and you're like, well, I don't really know much about Megan. Know this. I think about this all the time. She went on Oprah and said that her chi children, child, I think at that point it was just our, uh, her children won't be given titles because of color. Okay. That is the most blatant lie. They have titles. They use those titles. And she never came back out and was like, whoopsie, my bad, my mistake. She knew what she was doing. It was to incite hate, in my opinion, toward the royal family. And so that has been a constant theme, and especially toward Catherine. So again, I'm, I don't even have to explain this. You guys know all this. I'm just, I'm so fired up about this. That's why I won't let this go. You know what else I'm not going to let go? The African parks. Where is the feminist cause on all that? Where is the, uh, she talks about women's voices. Where's the women's voices on that? Why no speaking up about that still, huh? What's going on there? All right. Um, thank you, Jill, so much. For the super, I really appreciate that. And by that, I mean Megan and Harry. They but neither one said a word. Still nothing on the African parks. That just disgusts me so bad. It really does. I just you can't pretend to be a feminist and then and she even said that Harry identifies as a feminist. I can't help but laugh at saying those words. But um, that her she says my husband is a feminist. Okay, then where was he for this African parks thing? Why is he still not doing anything or speaking anything? speaking up about it. Where's that? They're just hoping it'll go away. I actually think that they love this for so many reasons because this story is dominating right now. Um, oh, sorry. I just realized I still have that picture up there. Some people like to see the different pictures of Catherine. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Let me get it back. Um, I think they love this story because they know it is hurting Catherine. 
and it hurts William. So it's a win-win for Harold and Fraud. Um, and they love the story because it doesn't make them, it, nobody's holding them accountable. And I don't mean us, I mean, media wise for this African parks thing for a little bit, people did even people magazine, their favorite go-to was talking about Harry should step down, but then nothing, nothing else. It just makes me sick. All right. Um, oh yeah, please. Yeah. Just to summarize you know, from my perspective, because I know everybody cares so much what I think. <laughs> but I mean, if you're going to promote yourself as a, you know, a champion of w women's rights, like maybe start with the most basic right, which is not let letting what happened at those parks happen to people. <laughs> you know, it's like, who cares about a fucking soap commercial from, yeah. you know, 20, 30 years ago? Oh yeah, 30 years ago, like, Ta da, you know, something may or may not have happened involving some fictional soap drama. Why not fix something you can actually fix, you know? Yeah. Protect actual people. You know, you're in a position to do it. We yeah. can do it. I agree. <laughs> well said. I might be biased, but I agree. <laughs> he just said, I eloquent. All right. Uh, Angie, thank you for hitting that uh, join button. I really appreciate it. And guys, I do see all of your comments. I'm so sorry. I can't read them all. They're all flying at me, but I love them. You guys are amazing. Harry identifies as a jerk. You're right. That is great. I don't know how to say your name. Is it Puss Banton? I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for that. Oh, God. I just saw something else kind of attached to what I was saying. So Sunshine commented, how and why did the African Park story go away so quickly? That's a very good point. We're I've been Every yeah, it's like we're we're spending all this time talking about Photoshop. Yeah. It is a non-issue that no one should care about. Uh -huh. Whereas actual people received actual harm that could probably have actual resolution somehow if if somebody decided to act or even speak on it. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, this is the world we live in. It's like people are actually getting harmed, and we're wasting time about who. who Somebody photoshopped a finger or whatever. Yeah. Who, who cares? <laughs> Private photo. Who cares? All right. Um. Yes, mystified. Bringing up such a good point. It says I love it so much that because Catherine says she uses Adobe for her photos, she increased their worth by three billion in a day. You guys know that? Yep. The stock jumped way up. Um. Megan must have loved that. I'm like, damn. We should have bought stock in Adobe. Who knew? But um, yeah, I do. I love Catherine so much. All right, let me, let's see. I had a few more thoughts and then I will read more of your comments. Um, see, But yeah, this is only making people rally around Catherine. Love that. They were putting out story. Yeah, I talked about that. The stories of the UK relaunch. Um, this does show how differently Catherine and Megan are treated. You know, I talked about in another video and I talked about an earlier video about the paparazzi thing, how Catherine was harassed. And I've done videos showing the actual harassment, whereas Megan was calling and continues to call the paparazzi on herself. So, you know what I mean? But Megan screams that she's victim. And because she speaks up about things, in my opinion, that are made up, you know, <laughs> idiots that do no homework tend to believe her. And it's just like, oh, this is right in front of our faces. So hopefully people will see through it. All right. Uh, Teresa says, Harry's a knob. I love it. Knob junkie. <laughs> Teresa, thank you for the super. That's hilarious. All right. Um, let's see here. There's, I came up with a list. I was just thinking about things that are making Megan, making Megan mad at the moment. And here's my thoughts on this. All right. And you can add to my list and I'll read your comments in a second here. Things that are making Megan mad. Catherine broke the internet with just a photo of her sitting with her kids. Just a photo. Broke the internet. Um, she doesn't have to do parking lot strolls for attention. Catherine has photographers desperate for pictures of her. So think about that. Sounds like the recent photo where we saw William and she's headed to a private appointment. She's looking the other way out the window. A photographer was hanging outside of, I guess, I, I think they said Kensington Palace, something like that. Um, to get photos of her. And I don't see backgrid marked on any of their photos. Huh? Interesting, right? We don't see Catherine hanging out in parking lots. She's not selling stickers to anybody. <laughs> so 
So that must be pissing Megan off. What else? People are excited to see Catherine return. When have we heard that about Megan? First of all, she doesn't go away. But second of all, remember when she took like a month off when Harold was promoting his dumb book? I don't think anybody was missing her during that. Uh, the other thing I keep thinking about, too, is is the difference in Prince William, who's, you know, I just think he's standing by Catherine. He's supporting her. He's taking care of things. He's taking care of his dad, you know. And then think about Harold. Harold's out peddling face cream stories and having to sell those to support them. Just, just the difference in the two, right? Oh, my goodness. Um, so those are the things that I think that are making Megan mad at the moment. And I think that's kind of hilarious. I hate that Catherine's going through that, but I do think it's, those are the things that I tell myself to feel better. Like <laughs> that must piss Megan off real bad that Catherine broke the internet by a photo. And, and to, to, uh, mystified's point, she's made stocks go through the roof on products that she mentions, you know, that must piss Megan off as well. It's pretty funny. All right, um, let's see here. I'm going to read some of your comments, and then I had a few more thoughts I want to talk about. Uh, Angela says, Catherine doesn't need to add paparazzi to her diaries. Exactly. People are naturally interested in her. She doesn't have to call them up and do tricks like Megan does. That's so silly. All right, I'm going to grab water real quick, and I'll keep reading comments. <clears throat> Hi, I, I'm the captain now. <laughs> I've got the mic. Let's see, I'm going to glance over comments. Kind of uh, here, but I'm kind of working at the same time. So <laughs> sorry if I'm discombobulated. But I mean, I see that the general consensus is like, what, why, is, why are everybody going after Catherine? And that's the same thing I said. Like, what did she do? <laughs> she took a photo. Who cares? Like... Yeah, I mean, did, did, the, did the world stop when the, the Kardashian photoshopped uh, the kid at Disney? I don't remember the details, but I remember, you know, that much of it. It's like people use Photoshop in way, way worse ways. Like, um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's so weird. <laughs> JJR, Catherine broke the internet, Megan broke wind. Nice. So, yeah, Marissa saying the UK law that won't allow pics of the royal kids to be published, does that apply to the Sussex kids? Good question. I don't know. Yeah, is the world just angry she disappeared? <laughs> I don't know. So, I mean, it's, it's the fact that it was showing up in my Twitter, which is just full of insanity because that's all I click, you know, that made me pause at first because I was like, why, why, is, why is this news? I even, uh, Jen sent me some article earlier. It was one of the, uh, I guess, most, at the time, uh, who knows how many have come out in the past few hours, but the uh, most recent hit piece by the Daily Mail, it ended, like, I, I just kind of skimmed it, and at the end there was a photo. It was like 12 bullet points of, like, what looks wrong in that photo. It was, like, pure, like, you know, if you're familiar with the uh, Charlie from Always Sunny in Philadelphia meme, you know, where he's got the uh, conspiracy board in the back screaming, that's all I saw. Like, <laughs> you can pull up any photo and try to make a conspiracy about it. It's just trying to force some kind of narrative, I guess, that I don't even know what it is. It's like, the whole thing's just so strange. Like, why and where is this coming from? So, yeah, that's why we're here. Jen's back. <laughs> Sorry, I've been yelling for two days into the microphone, like, quite literally yelling. And so, my throat is like scratchy, so I had to go get some water, but I'm here. Let's read some of these comments. I just saw one that I wanted to highlight. Hi, David. I hope you're well. Thanks for being here. Uh -huh. uh, I lost the comment. I don't know, but it had to do with ownership over Catherine. That's why I put this picture back up because I thought this was so well said. It says... And the Princess of Wales may be a public figure, but she's not public property. And Allison Lee says, poor William and Catherine have done nothing wrong. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see here. Aw, and thank you so much for the comment. Says Jen, thank you for standing up for HRH Princess Catherine. That is so kind of you. Thank you. I'm, I just feel, it's just, 
I can't explain it. I just feel this pull to do it. It's the same I felt for Her Majesty the Late Queen and still feel for Her Majesty the Late Queen. I think it's so wrong the way that they treated her. Um, and, and the more I find out, the more disgusted I get by it. And so I feel the same passion about this situation as well. All right. Uh, yeah. Elaine says, royal commentators have lost their mind. I feel the same way. And I really wonder, I mean, it just seems to be about making money. Why am I surprised? I'm not. But, uh, it, it disgusts me, frankly. David says, we've all altered our photos at some point. You're absolutely right, David. Absolutely right. David, I want to make a joke about that, but I <laughs> David, what are you doing to your photos? <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. Zoom, enhance. <laughs> Was the water cold when you went on vacation, David? No, I'm teasing. <clears throat> no, David has been a longtime friend of the channel, so I like to give him a hard time sometimes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about the coughing. All right. Uh, let's see here. Renee says, I love Catherine Princess of Wales. She's gracious, classy, beautiful to boot. I agree. You can, sorry, I just went away. You can see she has a beautiful heart and soul. Yes. You know what? Let me pull this up because this is a good time to bring this up. Oh, thank you so much, Teresa, for another super chat. It says, we should all put that picture up as our profile picture on social media platforms. Oh, that's such a good idea. Oh, I love that idea. That's such a good idea. Um, I want to give a shout out. Hey, Jill, are you still in the chat? If you are, honk at me. Show me your honkers, Jill. Um, if you're not and you're listening later, that's fine too. I want to give a shout out to Jill. Um, Jill is in my Patreon group and she's lovely and always has very insightful comments. And Jill brought such a good point up and I told her I wanted to mention it on the chat, which was... So, Catherine, in this whole, I mean, think about it. The press has always said about her, Catherine's never put a foot wrong. It's something we see. And then this, nothing happens. This, this blip happens. And now the media has turned so hard on her. And my first thought is it has to do with they're pissed about pictures and, and money and all that. There you are, Jill. Hi, Hong Kong. You can chime in because I'm, I'm not going to do your comment justice, but you were so brilliant in your comment. But the, but the takeaway I got from your comment, Jill, is that, um, that, that the media was all about saying Catherine has never put a foot wrong. And I, I tend to feel the same way. And yet here we are. This nothing happens. Let me quote you, Jill. Jill says... Catherine is a huge asset to the royal family. The media kept saying she never put a foot wrong. She has a serious operation, is in recovery. Catherine is being hounded, but this time it's to release this, this photo as if something has, been, it has happened to her. It's just basically she, Jill did such a better job than I am right now of explaining it, but it's just so wrong the way that the media has turned on her. And I just thought that was such a good point. So I just, I know she's not looking for credit, but I don't care. I'm going to give you credit anyway, because I think you're brilliant. And I think that was such a good point because how many times have we heard that she's never put a foot wrong? And honestly, I agree with it, but I also think no human can live up to that amount of pressure. You know, everybody's going to put a foot wrong. It happens. I do it constantly. And so I just thought that was such an interesting point and so well said. And thank you, Jill, for that that um very thoughtful point now i did screenshot it and then of course i cut part of it off that's why i'm hesitating i can't even can't even read the rest of this and that's my fault not yours but um tell me again who you sent this question into because i want to encourage other people to send in questions like this um if you don't mind i oh you're welcome no problem but um, yeah, Mystified saying the same thing. It's It makes no sense. Mary Taylor saying it's so blown out of portion, proportion. I agree. Uh, Tina says, pretty dress. I know. I love this one too. She's worn this one on several occasions. She's beautiful. Um, let's see here. Elizabeth says, washing. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about the soap, the dish soap. Washing up liquid does not change lives. Why doesn't the sugar see that? You know what? That's such a good point. It's something I've said as well. She says these things. She tells the same story over and over, which, by the way, wouldn't you be embarrassed if your whole 
life hinges on something that happened when you're 11 years old. Isn't that like nuts at this point? I don't know, just me. Um, but uh, she doesn't come up with actual solutions to anything. She doesn't have any actual plans to mount Megan. She gives these word salad speeches with no, I don't know how else to say it, but no there there. You know what I mean? It just, it truly, the whole thing just disgusts me. Um, let's see here. Uh, here we go. Thank you, Jill. Yes, that's it. Rebecca English. I cannot remember her name. Daily Mail, Je uh, Rebecca English. There's uh, an editor answers questions. And I love that idea. I would like to send questions as well. And I encourage you guys to do the same. Let's ask questions of why is what is going on here? You know, why is Megan getting this pass? Why why are people demanding things out of Catherine like this when she's clearly set? Like, I find it so offensive, this whole trending, where's Kate? I just think that's such bullshit. We know where she is. What is going on? I just, I'm just, uh, I'm sick to death over this. Uh, Nana says, Jen, the soap saga, pathetic and delusional. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Sunshine says, agreed the whole situation has been getting completely unnecessary amount of attention and hate. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Me too. So now I'm at this crossroads. I was like, do I keep talking about this picture thing or do I, do I let it go and hope it goes away? But honestly, my instinct is to talk about it because it's so batshit crazy. What are we doing? Because to me, it's a chance to point out, hey, Megan and Harry lie about everything. What are we talking about? Are we really talking about a child's hand wiggling? This is silly. We don't have to question the existence of their children just saying, you know. <laughs> I just, I think this is so crazy. Um, Sorry, I keep saying crazy, but I got to think of another word for this. This is just, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone, like you guys said. Ian says, word salad, but doesn't say anything exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, Calla Lizzie, that's a great name, says it's a manufactured mystery. Exactly. You're exactly right. And and JJR brings up my point as well, which is Megan seems to get a pass from the mainstream media. It's like they're afraid to report on this stuff. And I think that's BS. It's because Harry and Megan are the most critical human beings, but they try to actively silence their critics. Um, and yeah, mystified said Megan sound like an idiot at South by Southwest. I'll be totally honest with you guys. You know, I keep up with all this stuff. I was on vacation last week. I was filming for my other channel. By the way, I did start up that travel channel. Check it out if you haven't already. I'll put a link to it soon in the chat. It doesn't matter. But, um, you can find it on my main page. You can see my, uh, link to my travel channel, but I'm very excited about starting up a travel channel. Where was I going with that? So I kind of checked out for my own sanity. So I started reading the headlines. I checked back in. I made a video, but I haven't gone back to listen to the audio because I don't know if I can stand it. I had called it the day of that she'd talk about the damn soap story. And sure enough, she talked about the damn soap story. But again, if you have nothing else, then you got to talk about something that happened when you're 11 years old that I, in my opinion, don't believe actually happened. David Alp says it borders on, yes, I agree. I'm not going to say that word because YouTube is weird. But yes, it borders on, um, how can I say that wrong? Harass, <laughs> harass stuff. Yes. Because if it were, let's see, if it were on, if I were on sick leave at work and they kept pestering me like this, I would truly storm off to the union, get them to leave me alone. Exactly. That's, that's a great point. You couldn't. Do that. I could not about anybody. I couldn't go on and on about, hey, what's going on with your medical stuff? What's going on? I heard you had an operation. What's going on? Can you show me? Can you prove it? Are you still alive? What's going on? It would be insane. And yet people feel like they have a right to do it with Catherine. And it's so wrong. Marissa, hi, says when Megan apologizes to her father and sister, the royal family and admits her lies were wrong, I'll respect her. I'll be dead before she admits that. Well, Marissa, I like where you're where you're going with that. It'll never happen, and I can't say that I'll ever respect her. But I'm not picking apart what you're saying. I get what you're saying. That's funny. Um, let's see here. Uh, just call me Beth says it didn't happen, Jen. It's been proven. It was her class. 
I've heard the same and I've talked about it in other videos. I agree with you. And I have to say in my opinion, because those two go after everybody, my opinion, it's bullshit about the soap story. Okay, tell us something you did when you're 11. Did you win a spelling bee? Actually, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> live your life around yeah which i haven't really thought about until you just said that so uh yeah that's going to be my defining characteristic from now on so you know i'm just thinking this out i really hadn't thought this out until right now but we have heard more about that spelling bee than we have about the kids what if you sorry i'm saying spelling bee i know sorry let me try that again let me try that again. We have heard more about that soap story than we have about the kids. That's freaking weird. Jay, I would be very upset if you identified as a spelling bee winner from when you were 11 versus a husband and father. <laughs> yeah, it's, and I remember when you dissected that a while back. I mean, and, and through the interview, like with, uh, with, uh, was it Thomas Markle Jr.? Didn't he question the validity of that whole thing? Yeah, yeah, and her dad brought it up. I mean, that's not like we're the 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 judge and jury on that, but there there was definitely some question about it from people that would be more in the know. So do with that as you may. Um, but why not? If that's what you want to hang your hat on, and you're in the situation where you can make new stories that actually have impact maybe empower or better other people women uh do that do that do that thing yeah <coughs> thank you exactly tell us more about your spelling bee no i'm teasing uh he said he oh is that the word you they can't hear you when you're oh, actually this is true story like uh oh, yeah, the word I got was encyclopedia, and I remember everybody was like, oh, he's lost it, but I got it right. And then, uh, well, actually, the other person got it wrong, and then I got it right, and ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> so is that now going to be what you identify? Like, people would be like, tell us about yourself. Nothing about being a husband or father. It's about winning a spelling bee with encyclopedia, and you have to repeat it over and over and over and over. It happened over 30 years ago, but it's important, damn it. Wow. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, David says the soap story in quotation marks is a non-story, not even true. I tend to agree. My opinion. Just me is here, says Dan Wooten is on Megan Kelly saying he knows for sure. Oh. Oh, I don't. It's not you. I love you, just me. But I don't even want to read that because I don't believe it. And even if it's true, it's not our place to speculate. So I love you, just me. It's not you. I'm just not going to continue to read that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Push Banton says, thanks for the live, Jen. I think we all need to rant. I feel the same way. Uh, oh, somebody else said that they won. Where was it? It was really funny. Sorry, I meant to read it. It was very cute. Uh, here we go. Cal Lizzie says, I won a canoe race at summer camp. Yeah, let's all talk about what we did when we were 11 years old. I can't remember what I did at 11 years old. 11 year old things. I don't know. <laughs> Talked on the phone to my friends. I don't know what 11 year olds do. <laughs> if you hang your whole personality on something you did when you're 11, unless you save people from a burning building, I think there's something messed up about that. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Hong Kong, my Hong Kong and good day, my. Australian friend, I hope you are well. You want to say hi to Tanya? Hello, Tanya. Sorry, honk, honk. Yeah. The, one of the Twitch viewers. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check me out on twitch.tv slash Dr. Bad Vibes. All right. Mystified said both Megan and Harry live as if they have no children until someone asks about them. Yes. And even when somebody asks about them, it's like, uh, 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 they're little because they're little. What? And then Harry, would they have a good personality or they have a good sense of humor? That is the most nondescript thing you could say about somebody. You know, like if somebody asks you a question about somebody you barely know, you're like, yeah, they're all right. They, are, they seem to have a good sense of humor. I don't, you know, <laughs> it's just so silly. Right. Uh, yeah. See, here you go. Bob Kuhn, I hope I'm saying that right, says, or Kuhn says, I stayed after school and cleaned the chalkboard brushes. There you go. Yeah, that's big accomplishment. So 
You should definitely tell that over and over. Yep, yeah, Bebop won the 100 meter dash. See, we've all accomplished things. Except for me, apparently, because I truly cannot remember what I did when I was 11 years old. What grade is that? I don't even know. Uh, sixth grade, something like that? Yeah. Fifth grade? Right. All right, yeah. Hmm. I was just being a nerdy fifth grader. I don't know. Just V says, won a high school science fair as a freshman made penicillin. There you go. See, you've already accomplished more. That is funny. Tanya, thank you for the super. That is not necessary. Tanya, I'm not trying to bring up your personal stuff, but know that I have been thinking about you and I hope you are doing okay. We are sending you hugs and I hope you're okay. <coughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Calla says a good sense of humor is about someone. Yeah, thank you. I said the same thing. It's about somebody you don't want to date. It's like if you go on a date with somebody and you're like, eh, you had a good sense of humor, meaning... I don't know if I want to bone him. What? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Let's see. Mod says, I got a hamster. Hey, that's something. There you go. What was your hamster's name? Uh, Jolene says, I had perfect attendance. There you go. See, we need to lead the conversations with these things. These are important. Uh, David said, at 11, I hoovered the house. Now we'll bang on about it for years. I am a domestic god. David, can we hire you? to come do some hoovering because <laughs> that is an accomplishment. I haven't done that. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh, thank you, Tina. You're so sweet. Uh, fibro warriors. Hi CJ says I swam with, uh, I swam a width at age 11. There you go. That's a huge accomplishment. Uh, oh, Tanya, I'm so sorry. And I'm sending you hugs. Uh, we're not going to go into Tanya's personal business, but everybody send Tanya hugs and your flockers are right here with you. Tanya's going through it and I'm sorry. And Tanya's a lovely person. She's here um, supporting and on Patreon and on Jay's channel and, and always so kind. So sending hugs back to you, Tanya. I really am. All right. Um, right. Let's see here. Uh, Butterbean says, made it. Thanks for being here, Butterbean. We're just yelling about all the nonsense going on. We're just sick to death over it. I really am. Um, We're talking about things we accomplished when we were 11 because apparently that's what you lead with now. Megan seems to think so. She just tells the damn story over and over with nothing, nothing to prove anything. Just says these things. We're just supposed to believe it. All right. Um, uh, um, let me catch up with comments here. Oh, everybody's sending Tanya hugs and hearts. That's so nice. Oh, hugs to Tanya. Can I just say, this is the best, best, best bunch of flockers. You really are. You really are. I, I, I don't just say that. I, it bugs me when YouTubers are like, you guys are great. Now hit the subscribe button. That You guys just are great people. You really are. And I'm, I'm happy to have you all in my life. I really am. And I love getting to know you. And I know that's a weird thing to say because there's 700 something of you guys on, but I do. I feel like I get to know you and I appreciate you taking your time and spending it with me and, and sharing your, your lives with me and telling me what you did at 11 years old. I love that too. This is fun. Um, Sarah, insert last name, said, Did, didn't Thomas Markle Sr. say that he, or he just wrote a letter back? Okay, so that's how I understood it too, Sarah, insert last name. Great. <laughs> great uh username by the way so when i read revenge i've read that book twice and that's kind of what i've read so many books now they blur together but that's kind of what rang true for me as well it was something to that effect i believe something along the lines of thomas maybe didn't come out and spell it out but allu sorry alluded to uh oh david that's so nice david just sent so many hearts for tanya uh, I love looking up and seeing all the hearts on my screen. That's so lovely. Um, but anyway, sorry, Thomas Sr. had alluded to, you know, you do what you do as a father to make your kid happy. Oh, that's how I took it, at least. <clears throat> oh, Tanya, look at all the hearts that people are, are sending. Oh, oh, man. You know, I'm a empath, so I will burst out into tears. Tanya says, Jen and Jay, at the moment, you guys are keeping me going. That is so nice, but I, I hope that's not the case. I, I hope things get better for you. I really am sending you hugs. I really am. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, see, you make me all teared up. Oh, oh, CJ, thank you. Says, uh, you've built a beautiful community, Jen and Jay. Thank you, Fibro Warriors. That means so much to me. 
Uh, David Alb said, sorry, your comment just went away. I'm trying to find it. It was really sweet what you said. Thank you, David. Um, okay. Pull it together, Jen. <sighs> I think I've just been so emotional and felt so strongly about this Catherine stuff that um, it just moves me so much. And then, you know, hearing when you guys go through things, it really, it really, it, it hurts my heart. And I'm sorry. Um, okay. But uh, let's see. Uh, Butterbean Queen says she peaked at age 11. Ding, ding, ding. I think so, too. Bunty McBuntface, great name, says, Have I ever told you when I was 11 years old I learned to juggle? So proud. Bunty McBuntface, you should lead every conversation with that. I think so, too. Um, uh, I don't know why. It's kind of cracking me up. Luby Lou sent a bunch of hearts, which was sweet. But then a leg emoji. And I don't know why. That's just <laughs> I don't know why the leg emoji, but that's nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, Tanya. Oh, 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 I'm sending you hugs. I really am. Everybody's sending you hearts and that's so sweet. Okay. Let's keep going with thoughts here. Um, I think I covered most of mine. Tell me yours. Tell me everything. Tell me I'm not crazy on all this. What is going on? What do you honestly think is going on with the media right now? I know what's going on with Harry and Meghan. They're so jealous. They can't stand it. Meghan has to make everything about herself. So she's going to make herself try to make herself a victim in all of this. So I think that's what's going on there. What's going on with the media? What did Catherine do? She, there's no answer to this. What did she? She didn't do anything to deserve this. But I'm saying, what is it that they're really pissed about? Is it the photo that they didn't get the photo? Is it that they can't make money off of it? What do you think is going on? Because I truly am trying to come up. I'm trying to make sense out of something that makes no sense. And that's what I say a lot about Harry and Meghan. But that's truly how I feel. What is going on? I'm reading your comments as we say this. Do you want to say something to Tanya? Do you want to say yeah, sorry to hear the, about that, Tanya, but we're, you know, sending you hugs and everything. Hope everything, you know, takes a turn for the better. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, we're not, we're, we're, yeah, we're not prying into it, pri privacy. Yeah. Um, I was kind of uh, sidetracked here. I just happened to open Twitter, and I've, like, gone down this insane conspiracy rabbit hole about... I don't know who any of these people are. Have oh, you... she's... Yeah, I don't know why. Like, yeah. I don't look at this stuff. I don't know why it's showing it to me. Like, I look at memes and video game stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, well, I do click insane th things that are impossible to occur in reality. So maybe that's why this showed up. Yeah. It's somebody terrible on Twitter. They're just trying to, they're, yeah. they're trying to spread stuff. And it's like, when I read the comments and, and, you know, basically the way they're attacking Catherine and William, I'm like, these are all like paid for. Like the way they, they sound, it's not unique to them, but I mean, all the time on Twitter, you can find bot or paid accounts and they, they pile on certain news stories. And this is just another one of them. It's, it's again, why is everybody, I mean, I guess they've just been waiting for anything they can to go after Catherine for whatever reason. And they finally found one stupid thing that they can harp on, which in reality doesn't matter. It's so weird. It is weird. And a lot of you guys, I'm reading your comments and, and uh, Mystified says, um, sorry, I'll back up. It has to be that they didn't get their usual Mother's Day photo a day ahead so they could sell it. Okay. All right. So it is. It's about clicks and making money. I just think that's awful. And Again, I'm not even trying to talk about other YouTubers. It's not my thing. It's really not. But I have been so disappointed. Hi, Stefoski. It's good to see you. And other YouTubers who are doing the same thing. They're writing both sides. And I think that's disgusting because Catherine doesn't deserve that. And yeah. It's just... All right. David says, Catherine is just too decent and perfect a role model. So they're picking on this ridiculous thing. You're absolutely right. Says David while he's in between photoshopping his photos. <laughs> I had the funniest comment, by the way. I'd posted under the community tab uh, yesterday. I, again, I did some traveling last week and I, I'm starting to post videos on my travel channel. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Uh, and um, and I put up a thumbnail and uh, it was about 
uh, safari I had done and uh, just about, the, I, I'm a huge animal lover. So it was about that. And, and people went on to say, clearly you photoshopped those animals. And it really struck me funny. I was like, yeah, you caught me. I photoshopped the animals. All right. Daughter of Darkness says, Jen, the press is notorious for building someone up just to tear them down. Then later they'll build them up again. It sells papers and money is objective. That's awful. And I'm not, I'm not naive to the press completely. I get, I mean, I get how it works. I think this is a different level. This is a disgusting in which I haven't seen in a very long time. So, um, yep. Margaret says this whole story is absurd. Flock off. I agree. I agree. Um, and, and a lot of people are saying British press, it's here in America too. I'm seeing it. It's just awful. But again, I blame the Harkles for that. Um, Fiber Warrior. Oh, you're talking to David Alp. Okay. Um, yeah. P uh, Puss Banton saying I subscribe to quite a few. Unfortunately, I have done the same, and that sucks because I'm not. I. I. Yeah. I don't. I know how hard it is to be a YouTuber. <laughs> to no matter what degree you are, I know how hard it is. So I'm not into shit talking them but in this case i think some of it's well deserved but uh i think your clicks say everything so i just don't click on the ones that you don't agree with how about that all right um david says will you do a live on the travel channel too at one point i would love to david i think if i understand that correctly where mine's brand new and it's not like monetized yet or anything i don't even know if i can do a live on that one yet but i will try at some point when it's a little bigger I just put up my first video yesterday and I put up a short today, but, um, I will try. Yes. Yes. I, my dream is to like, we take trips. We were traveling with Jay's work last week, but, um, we travel a little bit with his work. And then, uh, my dream is to go back to the UK sometime this year, hopefully fingers crossed, maybe later in the year, gotta save up for that. And then, uh, my dream would be to live stream, you know, I don't know, outside Buckingham or something like that. How cool would that be? Something like that. Um, oh, good. Uh-huh. I just read uh, Cinder Bella's comment. It says, at 11, Jimmy Carter was president. I'm like, how did he get elected at 11? Oh. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wait, I see what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> I'm teasing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah that, that, I read that the wrong way initially. That's really funny. <laughs> Guys, we have a guest on the show today that would like to say Hong Kong and hello to everybody. Honk, honk. <laughs> you want to say hello, everyone? Hello, everybody. Tell everybody who you are. The Gosling. Hong Kong. I'm also Stoltz. Oh, yes. The Gosling got to go to Disney a little bit last week, so she's been talking like Stitch. Do you want to say hello to everybody in your Stitch voice? Hello, everybody. Hello, Hannah's family. That's what, what the bow says. That is so stinking cute. Thank you, Gosling, for that. Oh, everybody's leaving you hearts on the screen. Oh, thank you. Uh, everybody's leaving you hearts and saying, hi, Gosling. You want to say hello? And do you want to tell people? Oh, you didn't get your fish and chips, though. Fish and chips? Nice. I think my, I have a push of that stitch. So oh, I think I need. So I think I need the um my stitch plushie to eat. Oh, okay. She wants to hold her stitch plushie while eating. We're very into stitch all of a sudden. So that. Thank you, Gosling. All right. Uh oh, thank you, Tina. It says you're so lucky. I hope you had an amazing time. She did. She did. Oh, thank you, Mystified. Yes, that's the Gosling um everybody's saying hi sweet girl thank you thank you so much um let's see here keep talking amongst yourselves i will be just one second i gotta find one thing right here okay. all right i'm here all right everybody's saying hello little gosling thank you so much uh they're saying hi gosling from the uk so one of her favorite places in the world is england she yeah. got to she just said yeah that's right she got to um have fish and chips in england and she has been talking about it ever since 
Uh, yeah, she did go on Small World. That's one of her all-time favorites. Now she's singing that song in the background. <laughs> so silly. Aw, thank you, Mystified. They say they love you, Gosling. She says, I love you too. <laughs> so cute. Um, <clears throat> so on our to-do list is to have Gosling write a... Um, uh, a letter to Princess Charlotte that she wants to be pen pals with Princess Charlotte. So I still have not figured, I know there's a way to do it. You guys have been so kind and sent me the information before. We just have not followed through. So I need to do that with her. We'll write Princess Charlotte a letter. She wants to be friends with Princess Charlotte, which I think is so stinking cute. All right. Um, oh, thank you all for being so sweet to the Gosling. We appreciate that very much. But she went upstairs, so now I can start yelling again. Ha! Ah! <laughs> I keep her out of the Harry and Meghan stuff just because he doesn't need to know all the nonsense going on. So when she's gone, then I start yelling again. <laughs> she's gone, now I can yell again. Alicia says, at 11 years old, I rode my pogo stick all the way around my school. <gasps> that is an accomplishment. That is a feat. I had a pogo stick as well. Uh, thank you, Teresa. I appreciate that. Yeah, we feel pretty strongly about that. I've accidentally slipped her name before, but I try not to say it. So David, that's why I deleted your comment. It's nothing personal. I just, <laughs> yeah, we try not to say it. We just say Gosling. But no, I'm not into the image thing. I, I'm not. I'm really not. I don't. She's not old enough to make that decision. So I just don't think it's right. But thank you. That's very sweet of you. Um, Helen says the goose, the gander, and the gosling should come to Spain. Oh my gosh, Helen, that is so high on my list of places to go. Here's my secret. I am dying to live in the UK at some point. Now, I looked into it, and England is my dream, but they don't offer what's called a nomad visa where I work online, um, but Spain does. And Spain's one. Spain and Germany are the closest think geographically to England that offer that program. So I have thought about Spain. I would like to see Spain. Um, Tanya, no, I'm the worst. I have not done that. <laughs> I, you, this is something to know about me. I have a million to-do lists and sometimes I'm bad at following through on some of the stuff. I try, I really do, but no, I did not write the letter. I will. <sighs> Let's see here. Uh, Catherine says when I was 11, I, Nailed the principal with a snowball. Okay, I got scared for a second and just read nailed the principal and did not know where you were going with that. That's amazing. That does count. And uh, I hope, uh, what kind of reaction did you get? I need to know more. What were you? Yeah, um, my chat window broke that sentence at the perfectly wrong spot. And I was very glad to see the sentence kept going. Yes. <laughs> Marsha B. When I was 11, rode my bicycle coast to coast in 100 days. <laughs> what? This story is as true as Megan's dish detergent. <laughs> nice. Hey, Glennis. Honk, honk. Jen's, uh, Jen's getting crunk. <laughs> On Coke Zero. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we, we, I feel like we've beat that story to death. Like, of the the soap at eleven years old. If that's if, if if that's all you can talk about for thirty years, like, what's going on? You know, yeah. you, you haven't made a better story since then. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm here. I'm here. So my throat is so crazy from yelling so much. That's why I keep pausing to take a drink and let Jay talk. Well, let Jay talk. Listen to me. I sound like Megan. I'm calling him and letting him decide where or I decide when he can speak. But <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Tell them. Uh, I, I, first, let me say hi, Glennis. Thank you so much for being here, Hong Kong friend. Um, but yeah, Jay has a whole channel about speaking. Jay just put up a video today that I love so much. Tell him really quick what it's about, and we'll get right back into the Catherine and the photo. Come with me, and you'll see a world of shameless self-promotion. <laughs> It's about Willy Wonka. It's that horrible uh, story that occurred in Glasgow, uh, all you UK peeps. So yeah, check that out. I had a lot of fun uh, researching that and finding out how, the, <laughs> how big of a train wreck that actually was. There's some, um, I think it was TikTok footage 
or whatever it was. People filmed the actual event from the inside, and it's pretty funny. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty proud of that video. I did it live, so you know. Oh, the live stream, you've probably seen it, but if not, go check it out. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Dr. Bad Vibe Speaks, that's my newer, newer channel. I, I struggle to say new because I guess it's been going about six months now, but um, that's the one where I talk about stuff and I'm on camera. So if you want to know what I look and sound like beyond this, there you go. <laughs> FM makes a good point. If I were Megan, I'd call you my husband. My husband. Yeah, I just like this guy next to me right here. <laughs> and P.S. I'm not wearing my wedding ring. So obviously that means that there's a problem. I say that because that was one of the things that people were going after Catherine for. And I think that's so crazy. At her house. Who wears their wedding ring at their house? Do you guys? Because I don't. And it's not out of disrespect. It's because I'm usually picking something up or playing with a kid. But, um... Oh, M. Friday, what's the email address to send an idea? I will put that in the chat here. There you go. Pretty email me. Uh, but don't don't be upset if I don't immediately respond. That thing is so loaded with emails. I uh, clearly I have no follow through, so I need to go back and uh and respond to some of those. So, but feel free to email me there. Uh, Mystified said yes. I'd call him that one. That's right. Oh, this one. That's what it was. This one. Hey, this one. <laughs> but somebody asked me, would I live in England? Uh, it is my dream to live in England. I, not forever. I don't want to give up citizenship. But if I could do it for, I don't know, two, three years, I absolutely would. That is my dream. I love it over there. I want to go. I want to go back. It's one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. Somebody said something about Scotland. One of my other favorite places, Ireland, also a favorite place. I, I just, can you tell that I'm obsessed with traveling? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Somebody, yeah. I just saw a comment. Tegan says, have the sugars, sorry, it jumped. Have the sugars said they're having an affair with Jay, you know, after meeting him at the gym. Yeah, we, you know, she's referencing that. Uh, some of the comments were like, implying they were going to meet up with me somewhere. Oh, yeah. You know, oh yeah, talk to you at the gym or whatever. <laughs> that seems to be the MO because that's what's kind of trending again. It's like, yeah. When they want to attack somebody, it's, oh, oh the, the guy had an affair. Yeah. That's totally what I did, too, right? Yeah. Joke's on them. We don't work out. <laughs> yeah. And my gym's at home, so ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's such a good point. I hadn't talked about that in a while. I did. I got a string of comments saying that Jay was meeting women at the gym. And, and again, joke's on them. We don't work out. And second of all, he has a set of weights in the corner of a room. That's our gym. Like, <laughs> so, okay, cool. Give me the night off. Have fun. <laughs> I'm for some reason, I'm not concerned. I don't know why that is. Oh, uh, that's funny. All right. Reading some of these comments. Glenna says, Sh oh, you're talking to shell. Let's see here. Kimberly says my dad was in the air force. I lived in the UK for five years. Oh, I'm so jealous. That sounds like a dream come true. I would love to. I love America. I'm not shitting on America. It's just, I don't know. It's just a dream of mine. I'd like to live in England for a couple of years. So I did buy lottery tickets because our lottery is super high right now. And I told Jay, if we win, buying a house in England somewhere. So get ready, guys. I might win. <laughs> I might win. <laughs> And then I can tell that story over. Remember when I had soap at 11? Remember when I won the lottery? All right. Uh, Mary says, I was going to ask, who's Jim? Oh, who's Jim? I don't know. What are we talking about? He's Jay. Uh, Jen, please. Oh, I can do that, ancient one. Ready? Look at me. That is one of my, I, I just, I got to take credit for that. I love, I see other YouTubers doing it now and that makes my heart happy because it's, I feel like that's my, that's my mark left on the world. In fact, I should just lead off with that. What am I doing? That's my soap story. I coined the, look at me, but it just so perfectly fits, doesn't it? Everything she does is, look at me. Uh, don't look at doofus, look at me. Everything is look at me. So yes, I love to say, look at me. The other thing I haven't said in a while, shall we say it together? Ready? Ready? Revenge! Anytime I have the chance to say revenge around my house, I do say it, and I say it in that voice. And I also say, look at me, in that voice. 
I, I, it was something recently. Like I thought I had some, this is so classy. I thought I had something stuck in my teeth. And so I was trying to get Jay to look and he was distracted. So I finally just said, look at me, look at my teeth. You know? <laughs> oh, and messy. Yes, I do say messy. So that works on the Gosling. I walk into her room and I see that she's left toys everywhere. And I'm like, it's messy. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and wrinkled, wrinkled. So, um, yeah, Mary says I should make ringtones. Well, Mary, I actually do. There is one for sale on my merch site. I'm not trying to push my merch, but I'm saying, uh, what did I, oh, I did answer me. And I had a bunch of people download that as a ringtone. And I think that's hilarious. You guys, I just hope that one day out in the wild, we will be able to find each other by honking or by saying like, look at me or something. I know that sounds crazy, but one day I'm going to find one of you. And we're going to say messy or wrinkled or something like that. And I'll just be like, oh, that'll make my heart so happy. Seriously, I bring it up all the time. I do want to have a meetup. I want to do it in the UK. I know it sucks because we have people all over, but it could be fun to do in the UK. And we could have a, a, a look at me meetup and all wear our worst wrinkle, wrinkled outfits. Starting with Jay. And then we could tell stories of things we did when we were 11 years old. Spell something for us. S O M E T H I N G. Yay! Now go bang a sugar. No, TC. <laughs> Gross. No. no, thank you. <laughs> N O. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, yes, Wales is on my list too of places to go. I'd love to go to Wales. I see people asking about Wales. Yes, that's very high on my list as well. Wales. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, thank you, Lulu's mom. Lulu's mom, I think you're one of the ones that emailed me. I'm so sorry. I've been slow to respond. If that was you, don't take it personally. I'm so sorry. Uh, a couple of people have, uh, no, that's not true. About a hundred people emailed me while I was away and I just realized I haven't responded. So I've got to go through those. And I was thinking I saw in one of them, Lulu's mom. So if that's you, I'm so sorry if I haven't responded. It's not on purpose. All right. Uh, Margot T says, is the opening picture on your channel a photo of you? No, it's not. I got um, permission to use that. It's um, a stock video. When I started the channel, I was recapping Real Housewives and Bravo shows, hence the name. And I always envisioned it as a place for people to come have fun and, and laugh together. And so when I saw that, I thought, oh, that's perfect. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So I got permission to use it. I use it in all my stuff. And uh, and it's, yeah, and that's it. But what's funny is uh, other people have gotten permission to use it on other things. So sometimes you might see, somebody messaged me and was like, do you know that they use your image for like, I don't know what it was. It was like foot cream. I don't know, something like that. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 it's okay. It's not mine. The person just sold the rights or whatever. <laughs> Nope, not me. I just, I just, just like people having fun. And that's what I saw for the channel. And honestly, like it's a dream come true because that's what we have. Oh, yes, KE, Norway is very high on my places to go. I've been talking to Jay about that. Yes, um, I, yes, absolutely. Norway, uh, Denmark, uh, Sweden, all those places. I'd love to go. Yes, very much. Recollections may vary. Great name. Thank you for being here and thank you for the super says, can me gain prove she ever actually washed a dish? Ding, ding, ding. Can she prove anything? I don't think she can on anything she says. Honestly, everything has turned out to be not the case. So probably not. But that is a great point. And thank you for the super. <clears throat> All right. Um... Let's see here. Sorry, I'm scrolling down to catch up on comments. Christine says, speaking of Buckingham Palace, someone crashed. Oh, I heard. What is up with that? Someone crashed into the gates at Buckingham. I'm not trying to like put on a tinfoil hat, but that's weird. I hope everybody's okay. I did not. Yeah, I never heard any more about it either. That is weird. Uh, Ritz says she could have been riding around in a golden coach, but nope. Exactly. If her true goal was to help women and to help people and whatever other word salad BS she's peddling, she had the platform to do it. She could not be a bitch. <laughs> Same with Harry. 
I'm, again, I'm not just singling her out. He's one too, and he could not be one. They had to be horrible people and ruin everything. Don't feel sorry for him at all. All right, um, let's see here. Teresa says she proves she can lie. Exactly. David says, how about Montecito? Not going there. Exactly. Nope, not going there. No, thank you. And no offense, because I've had people message me that live in Montecito. They have been people. I've actually had two different um, people message me and tell me things about like parking lots where she's been photographed and how nonsensical her choices are. So I always find that interesting. JJR says Norway is very beautiful, but expensive. JJR, hopefully my travel channel takes off. So I can do a bit more traveling, and that is very high on my list of places to go. There's really not anywhere I don't want to go. I want to go everywhere. Mystified said, my sister-in-law is moving back to Sweden after 22 years in Florida. Wow, that is quite a change, Florida to Sweden. Um, cool, I'll go hang out with your sister-in-law. I'm dying to go to Sweden. <laughs> Glennis, you have been a member for eight months. That's incredible. Thank you for that and your continued support. Glennis is one of our Patreon members. Thank you, Glennis. You're always so kind. I was in London on Monday, but it wasn't me. I get it. London is a lot. London is very busy, but I got to say, I do love London. I could never afford to spend more than just a couple days there. It is expensive in London, but it is gorgeous and we love it. I love going. That is on my list of places. I say that about everything, but that's on my list of places to go for the travel channel for sure. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, Mystified says a car crashes in the palace and that doesn't make news, but a Photoshop photo does. Holy blank. You're right. That is such a good point. You're absolutely right. It doesn't make any sense. Lula's mom says the Montecito crockery is now a project in mosaics. So that's funny. I was laughing and thinking about this. So, um, this is the thing now Jay and I just saw on like Etsy or something. People sell broken plates that they turned into like earrings. I know that sounds weird, but pieces of the porcelain into earrings. Very odd. And so I couldn't help but laugh and think of Megan. Um, I also got the funniest, funniest comment on my travel channel. So I put up my first video yesterday. It was on Safari, like I say, about animals. And uh, one of the animals featured in the video are called Nigerian pygmy goats. You can imagine the comments I got linking them back to a certain somebody in Nigerian roots. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> I didn't even think about that when uh, when I posted it and somebody else pointed out and I couldn't stop laughing. Right? Uh, let's see. Mercher Lord says Lake District. Sorry. That's a place to visit. I lived there once. Okay. I've heard of Lake District. Forgive my ignorance because I truly don't know. Is that around the Cotswolds? I, I got the chance to go to the Cotswolds and I loved it. Is that, am I confused? Is that a totally different place? Because I've heard of the Lake District and I thought they were about the same, but I don't know. Chaz says the disgusting media should be, let's see, should be, sorry, it just went away. Where did it go? The disgusting media should be ashamed of themselves. Each and every one of them would never share their personal health. So why should Catherine? Ding, ding, ding. Thank you, Shaz. Again, a voice of reason. That's exactly what we've been saying too. It's so wrong to demand such a thing and to expect such a thing. It's awful. And, and again, I go to, I'm going to put back up the picture because I love Catherine and I love that family. Here we go. In fact, let's do this. I'm going to put the picture right here. And sorry, I'm talking to myself and I'm going to put this here be able to see that. There you go. <coughs> beautiful family, beautiful picture. And I think this um, perfectly sums up how I feel. Anyway, let's see here. Sorry, I, I think I was in the middle of saying something, but I'm going to go back to comments because I have ADD real bad and I get distracted, as you can tell. Oh, mystified. Thank you. Oh my God, you've been a member for eight months too. Thank you for that. Also over on Patreon says, this is the best chat and channel. Mystified, I feel the same way about your tweets. I'm not just saying it. You always put up the most thoughtful tweets and most... you. Ha I just really like the way you think about things and I like what you have to say. So that's why I try to share yours as much as I can because I really enjoy reading what you have to say about all the situation. I know you're one of the voices of reason too and I thank you for that because sometimes I want to punch a wall but you guys <laughs> keep me sane and make me realize, hey... Other people are reasonable too. It's just the loud ones, like the sugars that are not, but they make you feel like you're surrounded by craziness. 
All right. Tanya says, those goats were so cute. Thank you, Tanya. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Uh, Jackie Swan has been a member for seven months. My goodness. Thank you. Uh, I can recommend New York. It's a very historic city. Jay, have we been to York? That sounds familiar, but I don't know if we... We took some tours. I just can't remember if York was one of the places. Remind me about York. Is it... Is it like... We're so bad at geography there. Is it uh, in the, is it near like Bath area, something like that? That sounds so familiar. Forgive my ignorance. I need to study a map better. All right. I'm scrolling down. <clears throat> Excuse me to catch up with comments. Shaz says, when I was 11, we were based in Cyprus and I did my first jump into the med from a cliff. Oh my gosh. All went well until I came up and noticed. Oh no. <laughs> the bottom of her bathing suit was missing. Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that is funny. Oh, okay. Uh, Jay looked it up and says it's more north, so we don't think we went to York. But York, okay, York is up north. Thank you. I will add that to my list. Uh, let me hear. Aw, uh, yes. Um, your username is interesting. It's just showing up as boxes on my screen. If that's your username, that's super cool. It says, you can tell dad, Prince William, just told a joke because those kids are so cute. I know, they're laughing and it is so cute. Oh, that reminds me. Um, talk, Jay, oh, he's munching on some. Talk amongst yourselves for one second. I, I found something, somebody posted on Twitter. It was so funny. I'm just, hold on. I can't see your tweet. I mean, I can't see your comments, so keep commenting. Let me find. Let me find this so I can put, so I can share it because it did give me a laugh. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I'm grabbing this. I'm going to share it here. Look at me being technical, learning how to share things. Give me one second, guys. Let me uh i'm trying to grab this picture and while i grab it unfortunately the chat is not visible so keep talking and i'll see what you're saying in just a second find this picture because it's funny and it goes along with what we're talking about here we go that's it okay here we go Found it, got it. Okay, how about this? I'm an animal lover, so this picture really spoke to me. This was shared by Cat Reynolds, and it says, life is always better with cats. I stand with Catherine, Princess of Wales. Oh my gosh, I could not stop laughing when I saw this photo. They they edited in cats all over the kids. I, just, I don't know why that just really struck me, or Photoshop, uh, really struck me funny. And I thought it was a really funny, cute take on the situation and a kind of a fun way to make it a little bit more lighthearted, which I'm always for that. So I love that. Okay, now I can see the comments again. All right, uh, scrolling back up to see what I missed. Lake District is northwest of England with Manchester to the south and Carl, Carlisle, Carlisle, to the north. Okay, thank you. Where did we go, Jay? Was it Birmingham? Yeah, we went to Birmingham by train. Up north, no. Um, oh, JJR says there's something off about this photo. <laughs> nice. That's funny. Uh, scrolling down to catch up. Let's see here. Uh, Jackie, thank you so much for the super. Jackie says all of Jen's flock of geese are the best. Love you guys, Jackie. I feel the same way about you and everybody else here. Thank you so much for that. That is so kind of you. And thank you. For um, let's see. Mystified, you just said something interesting that I wanted to go back and read. Where is it? Two separate cars crashed into two separate palaces and photoshopping made the news. See, I didn't even know that. I knew about the one. I didn't know about two. That's awful. Uh, Ian says Goose Adventures. Yes. at So that's funny. When you look it up on YouTube, you, the easiest way to find Goose Adventures is on my main page. You can see here's my other channel. But um, the at is Goose Adventure because Goose Adventures was taken. But I'm calling it Goose Adventures. Right? Just me says, look how tall Louie is getting. I know. So cute. Jackie, thank you for the super. 
Uh, all, oh, I think I read that. Yeah. All of Jen's flock of geese are the best. Love you guys. We feel the same way about you. Thank you, Jackie. And then Shaz, member for eight months. You guys are incredible. Join on the first ever live and still here. Thank you, Shaz, for doing that. I can't tell you how much that means. It truly does go back into the channel. And I thank you so much for the support. It, it really means so much to me. Um, all right. I'm scrolling down to catch up on comments. here busy lizzie says there's a youtuber named hannah ricketts oh yes we watch her yes i like her she does um the walks around mostly london i have watched that yes um what is her yeah um i know her name is hannah ricketts but what's her name uh what's her username do you remember on youtube i watch her she's really good oh jay's looking it up I've made Jay watch her with me because I like her personality. She's cute and she does uh, cute things with fashion and I enjoy. Um... Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's Hannah Ricketts on YouTube and she's great. Yes. I like to watch her walks around London. That's I'd like to do that, too. I mean, I'd never do it as good as her, but I'd like to walk around London and do like some sort of um, travel video there. All right. Um, oh, thank you so much, Glennis. Jen, I loved your Disney video. It was amazing. Thank you, Glennis, for that. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching. I'm really, that's my dream channel. So I'm hoping to grow it. It'll take a little while, but thank you so much. Mystified, thank you. Says I have to watch the Disney video. Thank you. Yeah, it's um, it's about animals. I just walk around animal kingdom. It's my first one. So it's, it's I mean, to be frank, it's just okay. But there's some cool animal facts in there because I recorded a safari an animal kingdom. If you like animals, which I do, um, you can learn some cool stuff. I didn't know elephants apparently communicate through vibration. And she explains that. And I think that's so interesting. Oh, other people saying you watch Hannah. Yes. I like to watch. She does like tea at the Ritz and things like that. And I think it's so fun. And she talks about things being posh. And I think that's fun. Um, let's see here. Oh, baby geese on pics. Are you saying we should put that on there? That is a brilliant idea. Jay. Get on that. Add baby geese all over the Catherine and kids picture. I think that's a brilliant idea. Yes, geese. Thank you. I'll get Jay on it. I'm clawing him as we speak so he can work on that. That's such a good idea. All right. Um, let's see. I... Um. Oh, thank you guys so much. Everybody's saying that you watched it. Thank you. I love your channel. It's like gossiping with a friend. Thank you. I appreciate that. I feel the same way. That's why I say like, grab your cup of tea. Let's talk because again, it's you guys that are keeping me sane. So thank you. Others are just be yelling at Jay and I can only keep him, you know, I can only keep him talking about this crap for so long, but I'm like obsessed. Oh yeah. Crispy. Yeah. That was the tour guide's name. Isn't that funny? Crispy. I was like, okay, crispy it is. Oh, thank you, Wonderland. I really appreciate that. I'm just trying to right now, like I, it's going to be a slow process. I'm just trying to, um, my main focus is this channel right here. When I have time, I will edit. I made a bunch of videos last week, but I'm going to edit them and try to get them, just trickle them out and try to get my watch time up. That way, when I get that thing monetized, I can use the funds that I make there to do more traveling. See what I'm doing there? <laughs> It's always been my dream to have a travel channel and you guys have been so supportive and so lovely and told me, go do it. So I'm like, oh yeah, I should do that. So I'm doing it. Right. Um, oh, Tegan, thank you. It says, Georgia, I thought this is where all the crazy people come. This channel is brilliant. Thank you. Bee hi, says, can you change the emoji on the chat? Goose style. I love it. Uh, yeah. I think that's a great idea. That's so cute. Christine says, I watched this morning. Thank you, Christine. Uh, if you guys left comments, I appreciate that. I'm trying to answer those too. I, it's just, this, this channel right now is my priority. That one it just has to go a little bit slower. So just be patient with me, but thank you for writing me. Was Crispy a stage name? I assume so, David. I don't know. Really not sure. Maybe she Photoshopped her name. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Christine posting the claw. I love it. And, uh, Margaret says, Jen, you're keeping us sane too. Aw, thank you. Honk, 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 honk. Uh, Shaz says YouTube keeps deleting my comment. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, you're not the only one. I keep getting things said like that. And it's so irritating and it's, know that it's not me. It's not, 
not personal. It's so irritating. I have people message me saying, I've tried to comment. It won't let me. I'm like, I don't know why. I need every comment I can get. I wouldn't delete them unless they were absolutely hateful. So thank you. Um, Let's see here. Oh, Meep is saying, I like messy. Thank you, Meep. Tanya is answering Shaz. Tegan says we would all be drunk when the Sidley Twins drinking game on Friday. Heck yeah. Not funny. Uh, yes, the if you're just joining the Sidley Twins, I told them I'd give them a shout out. They're so, they're so lovely. And they're going to be doing a drinking game on Friday. I don't know what time yet. They said they'll announce that on, and it has to do with the Oprah interview. So I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. Um, how do I join the channel? Jay, you are my tech guy. Can you explain that? Because... I don't know. That's what's funny. Sugar's accused me of like photoshopping Megan's images even before all this Photoshop gate. And I'm like, I literally don't know how to do that. I love that you think I'm technical. I'm not. I don't even know how to work Instagram. Jay set it up for me. So if you guys have talked to me on Instagram, it's I'm not ignoring you. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> and if you want to subscribe, uh, the easiest way is if you click in the chat, depends on what device you're on. Um, you should see like the super chat icon. It's like a little dollar sign or a currency symbol. If you click that, it should have the option to super chat or join. And if not, that may mean you're using the iPhone or iPad app. Uh, maybe some of the Android versions too, I've heard. But basically you have to, uh, you have to go through the actual website through a browser and use the desktop version. Uh, I'll, I'll post a video in just a second. I made a video that walks you through this if you're not sure. But if you're using an iPhone or an iPad and you're using the actual app, uh, it won't pop up. I don't believe it has to be on the desktop version of the website. Not even the mobile version has it. So uh, let me get that link and I'll post that video for anybody that needs it. All right. But yeah, people are saying they're having trouble with the comments. The only thing I do know, and I've I've talked to other people about this, something about if you try to link something, for some reason, YouTube doesn't like it. So I think those are most likely to get deleted. But if you're not linking things, I don't get it either. I don't know why. I really don't. I think it's irritating. And, and somebody's saying they can no longer comment on the Royal Rogue. I've had people message me saying they can't comment over here. I'm like, why? You know, like the only people I've ever blocked are people that have said horrible things, you know, to like other members or to, to me about, you know, pro Megan crap. Even if it's pro Megan, if it's not horrible, I don't care. But if it's horrible, you know, if it goes to a, a different level, then I do block. But, um, but yeah, it doesn't really make sense. I don't know. All right. Uh, Georgia says, anyone here from Kent? No, but you know what I think of when I hear Kent? I think of Bridget Jones' diary. I don't know why. They mentioned Kent in that movie, and that stuck with me. And I like that movie, so I think of Bridget Jones when I hear Kent. All right. Um, oh, uh, can you post the link to my... I know you did earlier. We post the link to my second channel again when you have a second, and I'll pin that to the top so that way. Thank you. All right. Christine says, just in time for St. Patrick's Day. That's right. Honk, honk. Twins are reading... Is it, uh, oh yeah. So beep boop, she, or beep bop, they, um, postponed it. What's going to be today. They moved it to Friday because a lot of people have to work tomorrow. So they're doing it on Friday. It sounds like the drinking game. I just talked to Stephanie right before jumping on. And so she did say it was going to be Friday. They just don't know what time yet, but I'll try to jump on too. I just don't know what time they're doing it. Uh, mystified said, try restarting your phone. That's a good idea. David Alb says people from Kent are very posh. Ooh, even better. I wish I knew how to do an accent, a Brit an English accent, a posh one. All right. Daughter Darkness says, Jen, the disappearing comments and inability to comment is a glitch in YouTube has had for years. It's not specific to anyone. That's what I think too, Daughter of Darkness. It's irritating. And I, and I, and I know it's frustrating for you guys when you type a bunch of crap and then it disappears. So irritating. Um, Georgia says, I love Bridget Jones. I know. If I'm having a crap day, that's one of my go-to turn on. Mostly I just watch Taskmaster on repeat. That's like my favorite show, but I do love Bridget Jones. It's just one of those feel-good movies that I really enjoy. Uh, Cal Lizzie said, months ago I went 
looking for the Oprah interview and I saved it to my PC. It's it's disappeared. Oh no. Uh yeah, we did a little bit of it on Patreon. I'm not I'm not saying sign up for Patreon. I'm just saying we did cover some of it on Patreon. So I have some of it over there, but I don't we didn't end up doing the whole thing because I couldn't watch too much of the Oprah. That'd be dangerous to do on YouTube if it's especially if it's being disappeared. That yeah, means it's yeah, good it's yeah. getting claimed and blah 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 blah. blah. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. Nice. Wow. Uh, hey, uh, Griffin Eagle, thank you so much for the super. And I like that it says success with a cat. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Uh, Viewee says, for anyone who doesn't know or people like me who missed the moment, why did your channel become very Goose Club themed? Oh, I can tell you, Viewee. Uh, <laughs> one of the sugars, and if you're new here and you're like, oh, that's Sugar, it's a Megan follower. One of the Megan stands told me I sounded like a drunk goose. And I found that very funny and it spun out from there. I talked about it on one of the sugar videos. In fact, the sugar video I put up not long ago, the two hour one, like the super roast of like best of or worst of, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I do talk about the drunk goose thing and it just, it took off like wildfire after that. I found it so funny that somebody told me I sound like a drunk goose. They meant it as an insult, but it just tickled me so much. And then a lot of people were like, you are a drunk goose, like jokingly, you know, lovingly and stuff. And so I started honking and then it just went out from there. So, um, that's, what's funny. It's like the sugars are trying to divide us, but they actually united us because we, I think a lot of us found it really funny. So that's what that's about. Uh, just call me Beth says restarting phone doesn't work either. Do you want to try? Do you have anything else? Okay, Jay, I'll try to look into it and come up with. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, Catherine, thank you for the super. It says Hewitt story. Met him and he was drunk and a sleaze. Diana must have been naive. Clear he was not a good guy. Oh, interesting. I literally know nothing about him. I've heard the rumors, but I've, I really know nothing about him. <clears throat> uh, Mystified says the interview is, in t is impossible to find in its entirety. Interesting. Bet they want that thing to go away because people keep calling him out for their lies. Uh, no, 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 don't be sorry, Viwi. It's okay. No, I'm I'm happy to explain. No, 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 don't be sorry. I get questions. I get that question a lot. Uh, the other thing I get constantly, almost on a daily basis, I get, why do you honk at people? Which I find funny. Like, show me your honkers. Um, and the other thing I always get is, his name's not Harold. I get that almost daily. I'm like, oh, no, I know. I know. But I like to call him Harold and Fraud, Hank and Skank. So it's just fun to i to call him Harold. Plus, he called himself Harold in the book, and I started teasing. He's probably so dumb, he doesn't even realize that's not his actual name. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Teresa says, I can't stop shouting when I watch that live fest interview, so I don't watch it or I throw something at the TV. Exactly. Lou's mom says, because the sugars are stupid. Yep, I agree with you. Oh, my gosh. I was curious and I wish I wasn't, but I was. So I wandered onto a sugar site earlier. It's one of that Reddit site that I show you guys sometimes. Um, it's pro sugar and um, yeah, it's pretty disgusting what they're putting up over there. Like conspiracy theory wise, you can imagine where I'm going that William's behind this and yeah, awful stuff. Uh, call them Henry and Rachel. That is good. I do think about that. I think that's funny, too, because they don't want to be called that. I think that's funny. And then I heard is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I just heard Doria's name isn't even Doria. It's Doris, which I find very funny if that's the case. Like, she's fame seeking. I mean, I could have told you that. She's fame seeking, too. So she she goes by a different name. I think it's really funny. Case. Allegedly, right? I have to say that after everything. Allegedly. <laughs> I'm just going to tattoo that on my forehead. Allegedly. Uh, Georgia says, I love the Hong Kong. Thank you. Me too. I find myself doing that constantly. And my kid, the Gosling does that so much as well, which I find really funny. Ian says, Princess of Wales and Kate Winslet born in the same hospital in Reading, Berkshire, Berkshire, I think it's like, it England. That is so cool. That's very cool. 
Uh, we call her Dorito. Yes, my autocorrect made it Dorito as well. I used to cover Real Housewives um, shows, like recap them. And when I would take notes on my phone, there's a lady named Dorit. And it would always correct it to Dorito. So it would be really funny. I'd be like, and then, um, I don't know, Lisa was yelling at Dorito. <laughs> I want to recap Doritos. There's all kinds of flavors. You should on your Dr. Bad Vibe Speaks channel. You should recap weird Doritos flavor. Ooh, I think there's a video coming. Yes. <laughs> Tell them. I know you've eaten weird stuff on your channel. Tell them what you've eaten. That's uh, a weird sentence. Yeah, one of them. You can still find the video. It's I ate a pickled egg. Actually, not yeah. just not just any pickled egg. It was a prepackaged pickled egg that was on the clearance set shelf at Walmart. No expiration date, so hopefully it didn't expire. I'm still here, so I guess it was okay. Um, let me think. What else? Seaweed puffs? Something else. Oh. Jim got me a bunch of uh, yeah, stuff from that. World Market. Yeah, there was some Japanese snacks, which I'm not, you know, uh, <laughs> those aren't new to me, but yeah, the seaweed puffs, which were actually really good. I think those were Korean. Some Korean barbecue snack. Well, I can't remember, but yeah, there's a few uh, uh, things on my streams and videos where I've eaten strange things. I need to, I haven't done that in a while. I need to go back to that, uh, that, uh, that, that thing. Uh, it's actually saved a bunch of weird snacks on Amazon, like, um, Nothing too crazy, but like astronaut food. I mean, we've probably all tried astronaut ice cream at some point, but there was uh, like a cheeseburger in a tube and, uh, oh yeah, a, a pickle flavored cotton candy. <laughs> and actually one I, I would like to find, I don't remember what country it originated from. It may, it may be an American thing. Um, and you may have seen this online, the hamburger in a can. It's like a, one of those emergency, Emergency rations. It's it. You basically boil a can <laughs> that has a hamburger preserved inside of it, and then you pop it open, and you've got a cooked hamburger preserved and God knows what. So, yeah, I like to eat weird stuff. It's like a uh, challenge. Oh, an omelet MRE. I haven't thought about that. I haven't seen one of those. I've had so you know, <clears throat> back in the day, I've had some of those MRE type things you know like in boy scouts and we took over the campfire or whatever so huh yeah i need to i i was talking about the amazon list i made with all the weird food i need to revisit that i saved some things and i never actually got anything i'm um, getting water <laughs> did you hear me yell ooh with the hamburger <laughs> yeah i heard her yell ooh from uh across the room but uh, well, oh yeah uh this one is actually i need to link it on the new channel somehow but yeah, my original channel, the video game channel, ate one of those uh, uh, one chip challenge chips, which is the hottest thing I've ever had in my life. Yeah, haha, <laughs> besides Jen. Nice. Um, yeah, that almost made me puke. <laughs> that was pretty bad. But I, I powered through. I did it. Jen's back. Oh, but, uh, uh, oh, oh, Teresa. Jay, my son would love your channel. I'll send him over to take a look. Thanks, Teresa. I hope he likes... Dumb, dumb weird stuff. <laughs> well, I do. I married dumb weird stuff. Oh, <laughs> all right, Catherine. Thank you so much for the super. Said Hewitt alone in a London, sorry, London bar. He was clearly on this and alone and trying to chat up all the girls using the Diana story. We left immediately. Hong Kong. Well, you're very smart to get the heck away from that. It sounds like yikes. <laughs> That's frightening. Tanya says, Jen and Jay, all you gorgeous flockers got to go. Love you all. Thanks for the awesome chat. Tanya, you know, we love you so much. We are thinking about you. We are surrounding you with our flocker feathers. And truly, I hope things improve for you. I'm sending you big hugs. I really am. Thank you for being here. Mystified says, I remember Tang. Me too. That orange powdery substance. Yeah. The kids now, I, listen, I sound like grandma, but um, no offense to grandmas, but I... But the kids now don't know how good they have it because, yeah, we used to. Yeah. 
Everybody used to make fun of Ovaltine. It was actually tasty. And it had vitamins. Now, is, do people think that's bad? I always thought it was good. It was a tasty drink. A tasty oh, milk beverage. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Hamburger in a can. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, somebody way back, gosh, it's probably like 20 years ago. There's a, uh, I guess the website's still sort of around. Uh, something awful. <laughs> Uh, one of the riders there bought one of those hamburgers in a can and uh, <laughs> just did a whole ride up on how how they made it and how they ate it. It uh, didn't look pleasant, but I see it as a challenge. Gross. All right. I'm here reading the comments. Seriously, though, I want to thank you all for being the voice of reason through all this because I just feel like the world's gone mad. We know this, but we can, I just, it's so evident right now with everything going on and how things are being reported. And I'm just so glad to have this group. I really am. I'm glad that we can all vent our frustration to each other and oh, be a voice of reason for all this. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm down to keep going, but we could also wrap this up. Tell me your, I guess, uh, tell me some final thoughts as we wrap this up. Um, is there something you guys want to see in a video coming up? Uh, I can tell you, see, I did a Twitter roundup coming up. I got other things on the burner. I did see a thing about Megan and beige again in the news today. And um, I had done something on Patreon a long time ago about beige. I was thinking about putting on the main channel. So if you see me talking about beige, that's why. Or if you see a video about beige, that's why. Um, what else? Is there something else that's that's on your mind that you want to talk about here or in a future video? Anything especially bugging you besides this whole picture gate? I just think it's so ridiculous. Let's go back and look at... Beautiful pictures of Catherine. Here we go. I tried to pull some um, springy pictures of Catherine so we can enjoy springtime here. All right. Patty says, well, oh, Patty just joined the Drunk Goose Club. Thank you for hitting the join button, Patty. I really appreciate that. Uh, Ojo says, weirdest drink in the UK has to be hot Bovril. What's that? What's hot Bovril? Uh, David said, I had an awful day, didn't get a job I wanted. Oh my gosh, David, you tell me who it is and I'll call him up right now and convince him to give you that job. Anybody would be nuts not to hire you. I'm so sorry. But you know what? I know it's hard to see right now and I'm not trying to be like a platitude on a wall, but I'm telling you, I think sometimes things work out for a reason and maybe that job wasn't as wonderful as you think it was and you'll find an even better one. I really think that. I think you have a great personality and anybody would be lucky to have you. So I do hope your day improves though. And I know it sucks when you're going through it and I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. Beef tea. Oh God. What? Sounds up my alley. I'm going to look right now, see if we can get that in the U S <laughs> no, take me to England. You can drink all the weird beef stuff you want. No. Oh, speaking of UK, I had one of the best things in the UK. What was it? Coronation chicken sandwiches. Oh, I'm obsessed. What was it? Curry mixed with chicken salad. It was so good. I want that again. That's not beef tea. <laughs> uh, Glennis says, welcome new members. Hong Kong. Thank you, Glennis. Shell OXO. Yeah, me too. That face. I know I don't handle weird foods very well. So I let Jay do the weird stuff. Oh, David, you're welcome. No, I mean that. I'm not just saying that. I mean that you're, you're a great person. Anybody would be lucky to have you. So the right job will come along and it sucks that it's not that one, but I think you'll find something even better. I really do. In the meantime, tell me who it is. I'll call him up and give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Ian says Bovril is a beef drink. It's delicious. So if it's like a warm broth, I can maybe get on board with it. But if it's just like meant to be like a dessert, where are we going with this? <laughs> so I'm looking at Amazon. I do not see Bovril in the U.S. Amazon, but I do see something called Beefy Bovrite. It's it says it's meat and vegetable extract, which is to be used as a spread. So 
But I, I want some meat flavored butter. Ew, Patty just she figured out how to join. Oh, awesome! I, I'm glad that helped, uh, Patty. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for joining. Um, yeah, if anybody's had issues, uh, I'll post that one more time. Like sometimes, if you're on a phone or a, or a tablet or sometimes other devices, like for whatever reason, YouTube. Well, on the Apple devices, they don't. Google doesn't want Tim Apple getting his cut of. Uh, of the join fee. So that's, I think that's the reason there, but basically you, you have to be on a desktop browser is what it boils down to, which you can get to on your phone. So that's what's in the, uh, the short I've been posting. I'll put that up one more time. Uh, just chilling again says first live chat you've been able to make. And it was really great. Oh, thank you for making it. I appreciate it. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, so many people are saying they like Bovril. All right. Well, Okay, take me back to England. You can drink whatever weird drink you want over there. <laughs> Marmite. So I love the show. All right, there's a podcast I listen to. Hold on, I'm pulling it up. It's out of England. And it is the Off Menu Podcast. I love that with James A. Caster and who's the other guy? Ed Gamble. And they do um, food it's a food podcast, but they do, I'm sure if you're in the UK, you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, it's called Off Menu and they do dream restaurants. So you go through your dream starter, your dream main course, your dream sides, your dream dessert. You can have anything you want in the whole world. Anything you dream of, you can make it appear in front of you. I love that. Uh, I'm such a food person. I love it. I love this podcast. It always makes me hungry when I listen to it. So uh, where was I even going with this? Oh, uh, um, whatever I did, Maramite, he, or Marmite, he talks about that. He, uh, J, uh, no, it's Ed Gamble loves Marmite on, on, is, it's not pizza. It's like, uh, what is that? Like garlic bread or something. And I was like, oh, I might have to try that. Uh, yeah. Elaine saying I had Marmite on toast today. I want to try it. I'm down to try. Um, go ahead. I do know Marmite is available in the U.S. I've seen it randomly. On, well, I'm not saying don't go to the U.K., but. <laughs> uh, what's Great British Menu? I'm aware of Great British Bake Off. I don't know what Great British Menu is. Fill me in, Jackie. How could you not tell me? <laughs> off Menu is great. Yes, I love Off Menu. Um, I just listened. Hold on. I'm pulling it up. Uh. There's so many. My favorite episode is the Claudia Winkleman one. It's so good. But I just listened to the Ian Sterling one. So funny. Uh, but yeah, I dream all the time about I'd love to go on. My dream is to go on Taskmaster. If you're familiar, it's one of my favorite shows of all time. It's out of the UK. And it is like comedians that go on and do silly things. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a funny show where you kind of figure out how to approach different tasks and it's so up my alley and it's my dream to be on that but t these two guys were on taskmaster and so they do like dream menus dream food uh is it griffin eagle great name says you both sound like a happy couple oh thank you we appreciate that very much yeah most of the time <laughs> jay just answered by going Pfft. I think that means yes. Uh, what's sugar, buddy? Sugar sandwich. Tell me more, Tegan. I need to know more about that. Thank you for the super, by the way, Griffin. I really appreciate that. Swaggy L says, Maramite is nice with cheese on toast. I want to try it. Maramite is a yeast ex extract. Yeah, I've, I've tried Vegemite. I, I thought it was okay. It's a little strong. Kind of kicked me in the teeth a little bit. Uh, oh, I did have pizza when I was in the UK that I really liked. See, I'll say it, and then you guys will be like, oh, that's shit. But it's, I thought it was good. Um, is it Pilgrim's? It's good. Good pizza. Yeah. We noticed in our trips to the UK that something that you all do that we do not is the um, different types of dipping sauces. They seem, the, what was it, the chili oil oh, and, or like spicy honey. Yeah. Uh, we don't do that here, but, but we should, because that was the, the, the chili oil, especially we actually bought some just for that reason. Cause that was, yes. that was a, uh, a great idea. Thank you. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so good. And I have to acknowledge something. Somebody just said, Ojo, you are reading my mind. It says Greg Davies 
I always say Davies, but it's Davis, right? He pronounces it Davis. Is effortlessly funny. Yes, he is. He's one of my favorite stand-up comedians. So funny. Um, I I don't talk about it too much. I've talked about it in life before. I did stand-up many, 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 many years ago. And you won't find me because I wasn't that great. But I did do it. So I'm like, well, then I should go on Taskmaster. <laughs> But truly, it is my that would be my ultimate dream come true to travel the world and to go on Taskmaster. Uh, yeah. So Catherine's pointing out it's the top show in the UK. It's huge. Yes, I'm obsessed. I've seen every season more than once. I love Alex Horn. Very familiar with it. Uh, Jay got me for Mother's Day, I believe, last Mother's Day, the Taskmaster board game. I love it. And they just announced in like 14 more days there's gonna be a new season. And I can't wait. Um, if you watch Taskmaster, what is your favorite season? Leave me in the comments below. And if you don't watch it, it's all free, all online on YouTube. You can find it. I would say start with maybe, it's hard to pick a favorite. Maybe season five is my favorite with um, Sally Phillips. So funny. Uh, what was my stand-up routine about? Oh my God, David, it has been 20 plus years. I did, I did it for a while, so it kind of would vary. It was. I mean, there's just silly stuff. I'm very, very tall, so I'd make jokes about that. I made I had all kinds of silly stuff. Uh, oh, thank you, SW. I appreciate that. Jen and Jay are such a sweet, happy couple. H&M should take notes. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm not going to try to fool anybody. I mean, we're like any other couple. We, we get on each other's nerves sometimes. Things are great sometimes. You know, it's just like normal. I don't know. I hate when people pretend like everything's perfect all the time. We're not that. We're just a normal whatever. Um, let's see. S let's see. I read that one. Wanda says, I made several spicy dipping oils. Ooh, tell me if you have a favorite. Kina says, I love Greg Davis. Me too. Me too. I think he's so funny. We love the cleaner. And I heard there's gonna be another season of it. Um, very funny. And sorry, I'm scrolling down. There are some clicks of Greg Davis on the Graham Norton show. I've seen them. Yes, he's very funny. Yes. And on uh, Would I Lie to You, he does the the stories from back in, I think, his school days. Yes. He's so funny. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate that. Sunshine says ranch on everything is such a shameful, trashy thing that we Americans do. I hate ranch. Sunshine, I... I got to say, I'm almost there with you. I It depends on the ranch. I don't like the home ranch that we have. It's just not my thing. Like the Hidden Valley is not my thing. But when you go to a restaurant and they hand make it or fresh make it, then it's pretty good. I don't put it on bread, though. I don't understand that either. Jay does sometimes. Jay eats anything. Yeah, it's funny. They were talking about the dipping sauces and somebody mentioned ranch. I remember in college, I had to Google to see if they still exist. There's a very small pizza chain called Gumby's Pizza. It seems to only exist around colleges, and there are very few still kicking. Um, but that's usually where we would get pizza from, and they would, by default, uh, pack in a cup of ranch as a dipping sauce. The first time I saw that, I was horrified, but then I tried it. And I was, but because they they hand make their own, and it's or at the time it was delicious. Yeah, pizza crust and ranch. I'm. In, in fairness, Jay, we call the human garbage disposal because he will eat pretty much anything. There's a funny story I told a long time ago where I was pregnant and we had gotten, he'd taken me, I was just craving frozen yogurt. So we'd, he'd take me for frozen yogurt. We'd taken a walk and uh, I don't remember how, but like some cherries rolled off. It's one of those where you serve yourself and you put some cherries on top and they had rolled off of his frozen yogurt and onto like this public floor on this elevator. And he was just like picking them up and eating them. I was like, oh my gosh. He was like, what, do you want some? And no, <laughs> even if I wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't do that. But especially not when I was pregnant. <laughs> so I call him my human garbage disposal. And we talk about floor cherries a lot. And guess who never gets sick? That's right. That is you know, there is something about that because when the gosling gets sick, I always catch it. You can hear it in my voice. Like I get, I catch everything. And yet he never does because he eats floor cherries. 
Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mary said something very funny. Oh, yes. Uh, calling me a mayonnaise sandwich. So that's funny. That's something uh, that's one of the first sugar videos I, videos I did. Somebody called me a mayonnaise sandwich, which I had not heard, but now I've heard it. Apparently, it's a derogatory term for a white person. I did not know that. <laughs> At the time, I was just like, oh, actually, they don't know that that's hitting me where it hurts because I hate mayonnaise. So, <laughs> yeah. What's I've totally eaten one of those. And a mustard sandwich. Oh, me? I can't take him anywhere. Uh, oh my gosh! Thank you, Glennis. She is one of she's probably my favorite female comedian, uh, Miranda Hart. I love her. She's so funny. Thank you. Uh, and then my favorite male comedian is probably Greg Davis. Hey. Um, would I lie to you? Yes. Uh, what's his name? Who's the guy that I? Lee Mack. Yes, so funny on there. Lee Mack. I love him on there. Dr. Bad Vibe Speaks um, was such a Peter Griffin thing to say. That's funny. Hey, Lois, diarrhea. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, let's see here. Mary Taylor says Jay has such a cast iron stomach. He really does. I don't understand it. Um, yeah. So, HL, I think the same thing. Big shout out to According to Taz and HG Tutor. They're pro Catherine and anti bull. You know what? I feel the same way. I, I'm so on board. And and it's funny. I literally go into this on Patreon. I think in tomorrow's episode, I'm all for shouting out YouTubers who are on the same page. Yes. And I do believe that those two are and and myself. Not that I'm putting myself with them because they're huge, but I'm saying like the same page. Yes. I totally agree. Uh, Nicola says, I love Miranda Hart. She's hilarious and she doesn't even need to try. I feel the same way. I actually got, I got a, a shout out from Miranda Hart and it is so near and dear to me. Um, uh, Jay had gotten me a cameo a couple years ago and she recorded a message for me and I, I, I burst out in tears and cried and cried and I've listened to it about a billion times since. It was very lovely. And uh, she was so nice and went above and beyond, you know what I mean? Like on a, on a cameo, you don't, you just have to, you know, it's just like, Hey, thanks for being a fan. No, she spent time and really was kind to me. And I appreciate that very much. Uh, Glennis says, oh, 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 Shell is saying, don't make me bench a series again. What series are we talking about? Let's see. Are we talking about, uh, I love the show Miranda. Is that what you guys are talking about? That's a good show. Um, oh, what are you guys talking about? Now I want to play. What are we talking about? Pickled eggs were all the, always on the bar. Oh gosh. Meep is talking about pickled eggs were always on a bar counter. Yeah. Jay ate those on his channel too. Ugh. Yeah. The pickled egg will never die, but I actually do like pickled eggs. My grandmother used to make them like, you know, I guess, do you say from scratch? I mean, she didn't lay the eggs, but <laughs> She did have, she did have her own chicken, so I guess it's uh, pretty. I mean, she would, you know, get the eggs, boil them, and do the whole pickle thing, and they were quite tasty. I brought them with me to uh, college one time, much to the horror of all my housemates. But one one guy was like, "Oh yeah, those are cool," and two of us ate them all. <laughs> Ew! Oh, oh, Meep is saying in vinegar and beet juice. I hate beets. Oh, is that yeah. what? Oh. Yeah, generally, like every, well, all the pickled eggs I've seen, yeah, they're in beet juice, or or they make the juice red to trick you, like that one prepackaged one I ate, but yeah. Yeah, if you do them right, it's supposed to be in beet juice. Keegan asked me, Jen, how do you feel that is, oh, that us Brits have now adopted you, Jay, and the Gosling, but you have to try our, is it, am I saying that right, buddies? Uh, I'd say if you guys will adopt me, I'll try anything you want. I'll even eat mayonnaise. That's how much I want to live in England for a couple of years. If anybody knows anybody that can help me with visa, I'm there. Um, that's funny. <laughs> Did it stink up the room, Teresa asked? No. Nah. Yeah, af after the fact, maybe. Uh, let's see here. I see people mentioning pickled onions. I think that oh, yeah, I, do I, like them. I feel like that's a UK thing. I like, like I didn't, I wasn't aware of those until very recently, and they're so good. 
That's a gen thing. I'm obsessed with onions. I There's no bad onion in the whole world. So bring it on with onions, pickled onions, plain onions, red onions. My breath is always kicking. <laughs> Yes. Uh, Glenna says, I love Miranda and Midwives. I never watched that show, but I do love her. Um, I love the movie Spy. She was in that. She was very funny. Pickled beets are yum. I'm going to have to trust you on that one. I'm, I'm not a beets person. I not get on board with beets. I like healthy foods, but I don't love beets. Busy Lizzie said, oh, talking to noodle and not to noodle. Oh, onions and garlic. Oh my gosh. That's one of the things that I love about the UK too. You guys embrace onions like I do. And I loved, we were headed to Windsor and we were taking the train and I was starving. So we grabbed some chips out of the, not chips like you got, crisps, I should say, um, <laughs> American chips, uh, out of a, a train station. And they were like cheese and onion and they were so freaking good. They were so good. It was like, it was it aged cheddar and onion? Oh my gosh. So good. Tegan's talking about the Monster Munch pickled onion crisps. The only reason we know about those is because Steve-O from Jackass was on, was on that podcast Jim was just talking about. And uh, that was like his like all-time favorite food. So I really want to try that because he really sold them. <laughs> I know. I want to try that. I haven't tried that. Uh, Margaret, that sounds delicious. I want to try it. Christine says, I like pickled beets. Maybe I'm not being fair. I just don't like beets. I just don't know. Does pickled change the taste of them? Um, let's see here. Pickled onion sandwiches are so good. That sounds delicious. Glenna says, you'll have to watch it. Even the little gosling can watch it. It's very family friendly. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I will have to check that out. I know uh, we have family members that got really into the show. I just, I haven't watched that one. Um, Jill says, sh oh, you're talking to Shaz. Catherine says, great that you love UK shows. Oh my gosh, we love IT Crowd. When we were first dating, we started watching that and we've watched the whole series a couple times since. So, I mean, we've been together over, I don't know, 12 years, like that. So uh we have watched that show many a times i love the uk crowd i love richard Iwate. he has the travel man or he had the travel man he was very funny on that yes i love it crowd I'm trying to think oh god i was gonna say what's a line from there the one i keep thinking of i can't say here the one where uh roy member fell at the theater and he kept saying i'm yeah, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, he kept saying it over and over. Uh, it was the the musical, remember? The musical episode. So funny. Oh, yeah, Willies, Willies. I like Willies. That's such a good show. I love it. I love, can you tell that I love British comedies? I really do. I even, I've been going back and watching Monty Python. I love, um, oh, what's that old show? Oh, my gosh, the name just flew out of my head. Uh oh. No, the one with the hotel. Faulty Towers. I love Faulty Towers. Love it. Uh, oh, here you go. Swaggle says, the best crisps, pickled onion, monster munch. You will love Jay. Oh. I already put them in the cart. Amazon in the U.S. does have those. <laughs> so we will be ordering those, but Jay, you still have to take me to the U.K. so I can get some. Somebody just said, I just saw it, it's really funny. Oh, Mary says the stork dropped Jen on the wrong side of the pond. I think so too. No, I know. I'm, I, but I, I do love America. I'm not trying to give up America, but if I could live there for like three years, that would be ideal with the Gosling, of course. I, I, I take them wherever I go. But if somebody wants to adopt a 40 something year old woman, let me know. <laughs> Wanda says, Mr. Bean and Faulty Towers are funny. They really are. Don't mention the war. That's right. <laughs> Please watch Nighty Night. Very dark British humor at its best. Oh, I'm down. I'm, I'm so, so on the dark. If it gets too dark, like the cleaner was a little dark for my liking, but I still love Greg Davis, so I powered through. But if it's too dark, I get like freaked out, but I will try it. Um... Let's see. We watched Not Going Out. That's a show that we really liked with Lee Mack. Um, I've watched so many different ones. 
are you being served? I don't think I've seen that one. Is that the, is that a, yeah, I don't think I've seen it. Are you being served? I've heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. Uh, were you from a UK in a, nor a former life? Maybe. I do have kind of a red tint to my hair, so I like to think, and pale skin, so I like to think <laughs> maybe Irish? I don't know. Aren't we all a little bit Irish? <laughs> uh black adder yes we have watched some of that i like uh what's his name rowan atkinson yes and we watched uh black books too that was pretty funny mighty boosh yes oh the royal family i did watch some of that that's uh got the girl from um i think is that the one with the girl from miranda um the friend that plays stevie i can't remember her name hello hello i don't i haven't seen that one agatha Raisin, it takes place in the Cotswolds. Ooh, I don't know that one. Keeping up appearances. Oh, I have watched that. That it, um, yes, I've watched a little bit of it and I really liked it. Keeping up appearances. Is that the lady? I, what is her name? She tried to be fancy. It was really funny. I enjoyed that. Eats our beetroot. Um, SW says favorite frequency. Oh, favorite movie is frequency with Dennis Quaid. Oh, I have been a long time. I did see that. Eight out of ten cats is so funny. We do enjoy that. We like um Joe Wilkinson on there. Can you do a Joe Wilkinson? I haven't, I haven't watched it in a while, so I can't remember his voice. Oh yeah, I got, got a little agitated. I, I can't remember what he said. That that episode where he just like shows up as the Hulk <laughs> and he's just like kind of uh, annoyed by it. I, I love that. So good. Uh, and then the, who's the little nerdy guy? Um, John Richardson. He's funny too on there. Yes. I like that. Oh, and the guy that passed away, Sean. I remember Sean's last Locke. name. Locke. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Bucket. That's it. Yes. Thank you, Helen. That would have driven me crazy. Miss Bucket. Bouquet. Bouquet. I forget how she pronounced it, but yes. That's funny. Keeping up appearances on the buses. Yeah. Hello, hello is based during the war. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Well, guys, I guess we are going to wrap this up. That was so much fun. I truly enjoyed these so much. You guys are fabulous. I can't thank you enough. Okay, I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm so sorry. I know you did it and I didn't pin it. Can you post that link? Jay is going to post the link to my second channel. I will pin it there. And, um, so that way, if you haven't subscribed to the travel channel, please consider it. And if you feel like it, even if you're not into travel, if you'll just run the video in your background, I'm trying to get that channel off the ground. It really help. I really appreciate it. That's it. Hyacinth bouquet, 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 bucket. Yes. Thank you, Kala. You watch any of the British soap operas? Have I? I think so. If you tell me a name, I might recognize it, but I don't think so tend to like really funny shows um oh actually there was one i was thinking about watching and i was going to ask if it was any good um hang on i'm closing my eyes and i'm thinking what is the fancy place in london it's fancy expensive it's near god i'm, I'm gonna sound so american here it's near harrods not knightsbridge it's another one it's near harrods it's got those not Grosvenor, but it's also the name of a show. Um, it's going to come to me. I can picture it. It's those white, fancy, costs more than, you know, like more than lottery money to live there. And it's um, not Coronation Street. It's um, so fancy. It's near Harrods. It's... But it's uh, it's also the name of a show. I saw the first season and I just saw second season came out. No, not Kensington, not Savoy. What is it? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to bug me. Oh, I can picture the places I'm thinking of and now I can't. Not Selfridges. It's not, it's a, um, it's not a store. It's a location, but it's also the name of a show. No, not the only way is Chelsea. That's not it. It's, um... It's like a dramatic show, and they just put out a second season to it. Not Chelsea. 
uh, what is the name of this thing? Hold on. I'm going to look it up. It's on Amazon. It's, um, let's see, Amazon. Belgravia! Catherine, you're genius. That's it. Belgravia. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I didn't even know how to Google that. Oh, Catherine, you win the prize for tonight. That's it. Belgravia. I saw the first season. I really like, am I saying that right? Is it Belgravia? Um, it's, uh, I saw the first season and I enjoyed it and I just saw a new, a new season came out. Honk, honk. That's it. Um, has anybody seen it? Was it any good? Just curious. Let me know because I just saw it advertised. Yes. It's a period show. Yes. Uh, I just saw the, I saw the second season. It's been so many, I think it was a couple years ago that I watched Belgravia and I enjoyed it. I don't even remember what it was about, but I remember liking it. And, um, and I wanted to know if the second season was worth watching. If it was any good, has anybody seen it? Uh, Maiden Chelsea was great. I don't even know what that is. Is that a reality show or is that a scripted show? Let me know. Belgravia is a weird combination of posh houses and cheap hotels. Oh, that's interesting. So isn't that, if I have it correct, I think it's near Harrods. And there are these beautiful, Jay, do you remember this? These white houses I showed you. They're, I don't know what, the, we call them like row houses here. I think they're, are they called Masonettes there? I can't remember, but they're so expensive. Like, I don't know, I'm throwing out a number, 20 million pounds, something like that. Because I looked up, I was like, oh my God, these are gorgeous. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful, but yeah, it's Belgravia. That's it. That's it. Upstairs, downstairs. Um, I think what was the deal with that? I tried to watch it, but only one episode was available or something crazy. So I only got to see one episode of it. I liked what I saw. I'm a huge fan of Downton Abbey. I've seen that, um, a couple of times, uh, through the whole series. So Bebop saying, I shall watch Belgravia. I, I, now I'm trying to remember. I watch, this is so silly. So uh, a couple years ago, I, I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was 2020. It wasn't long after I started this channel. Like Catherine, I had surgery and it took me down for a couple weeks. And so um, do you want to see my medical records? No, but uh, <laughs> so I had to lay in bed. And so I was kind of in and out of it. I just, it was, a, it was very painful. I'm fine now, but uh, very painful at the time. So I just watched all these shows and Belgravia is one of them. So I think I remember liking it, but I honestly, I could have been on medicine. I don't know. <laughs> so, but I did rewatch Downton during that time too. I got into a very big UK kick during that time. Um, let's see here. I'm watching the trailer right now. It seems interesting. Yeah, I remember liking it but again i was i was on meds and in a lot of pain so i don't know i don't want to recommend it if it sucks but i think i liked it a lot so i was thinking oh i just saw season two is advertised i'll try it yes that's what i thought belgravia was by julian fellows who did downton abbey thank you celia for reminding me of that meep says love the chocolate in england me too um we stayed in a hotel we went to london who would leave us free chocolates at night and we loved it, it was so good Oh, love out. Uh, yeah, Outlander. I loved. I can't. I, I can't go de too deep into it. I loved Outlander, the good parts, and then it got brutal. So I, I had to quit watching. I just can't handle really violent things, and that was pretty violent. But I did. I enjoyed the Mimi parts and the the what's the very hot guy that I can't remember his name. Proof of life photo, Jen. I know, right? Flock off. Yeah. Right? I know. Sheesh. I know. I had, and that's why I was saying, like, when they were after on her about how long till she recovers, my doctor even had told me at the time, like, oh, it, you know, it usually people take, you know, uh, take a week and then they can go back to work. I was down for three weeks and I'm not like, um, I mean, believe me, I'm not perfect. I'm just not usually whiny or, or, or laid up with stuff too bad, but oof, that one laid me out. So I, I wouldn't mess around with any kind of in the abdominal region surgery and, oh, that one hurt. Um, Wanda says, Outlander's fantastic. Yeah, I actually just got the books. I haven't started them. Uh, I ha I really, people use an excuse. I actually truly have ADD, so I can't focus on a handheld book. So I do the audiobooks. So I look forward to listening. Just can't listen around the gosling from what I hear. 
Oh, yes, yeah, Sam. Thank you. Yes, Nicholas, Sam. That's his name. The hot guy on Outlander is Sam. Yes. Um, Bob says, Poldark. I haven't. What's Poldark? Tell me. Please don't rebrand Blake Bar after Megan. Ooh, I don't know what that means. Let's see. Irene says, good night, Jen. Hong Kong call. Good night, Irene. Thank you for being here. Um, let's see. Anna Million says, there are some very, very expensive in Belgravia. Buckingham Palace is down one side. Oh, okay. Yes. That whole area is gorgeous. I like that. I liked, um, oh, Gro Grosvenor. Grosvenor was beautiful. As, oh, is talking to Meep. And I was T oh, Callis says, okay, gotcha. The books are a lot. Okay, gotcha. Um, Billy says, I worked over in Belgravia when I was 16. Well, then you should be like Megan and lead off every story like that, right? Something you did when you were younger that you can just repeat over and over. Tell me about Poldark, Kina. What's, what's Poldark? I haven't heard of that one. Catch me up. Uh, but I'm always about funny shows. So if there's a funny show that I'm missing, please tell me. Uh, Aiden Turner, Poldark, very handsome. Well, hello. Okay, cover yours and sing to yourself. <laughs> you know who I find so cute? Oh my gosh, yes, Mary, you called it. Jamie Dornan. And he played the serial killer and I still thought he was cute. What does that say about me? Uh, that was The Fall. Oh, I had to quit watching that one because that one was brutal too, but... Oh, he's cute. Yeah, I don't know what he's up to. Oh, Catherine says, totally agree. I had surgery and allergic to my medication. My skin. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Catherine. That sucks. Hopefully you are all better now. Um, let's see. Oh, Kina says it's a period drama. I do like that. Cool. Jackie, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Hong Kong friend, you're always so kind in the comments, and I appreciate that. So kind in the chats. Well, I guess I probably should wrap this up, though, because we'd planned to go for like two hours and we're hitting almost three. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for everything. Listen, do me a favor. If you think of a show I need to watch, a funny UK show, just leave it in the comments after the fact. Like if you think of it later, just leave it in the comments uh, of this video and I will take a look. That would help. I appreciate that. Um, but truly, thank you for everything. Thank you for being my voice of reason, my sanity. Oh, thank you, Jay. Jay just posted the link to my other channel. As soon as um, it rolls up in the comments and I can pin it, I can't. Whatever. But um, guys, thank you so much for being here. It means the world to us. Jay, tell them what you're working on, what you're up to. Oh, there it is. I can pin Okay, so I just pinned to the top of the chat here. Yeah, yep, that's the link to my other channel. If you don't mind subscribing and you don't mind just letting the video play, it really does help. I'm really trying to get that thing kicked off so I can do more travels. It, it'll like fund itself then eventually. But um, okay, tell everybody where to find you and what you've worked on besides your Wonka and tell them about Wonka. Oompa Doompa Doopity Doo. Look at my Wonka I'm showing to you. Wow. Um, yeah, you can find me uh, on video doing my dumb news at Dr. Bad Vibes Speaks. If you're into video games, check out the original channel, Dr. Bad Vibes. I play retro games. Uh, I'm not on camera on that one. And then if you like live streams, check out twitch.tv slash Dr. Bad Vibes. I try to multi-stream those to YouTube, but sometimes there's stuff that's exclusive to Twitch. So drop by, give me a follow. I appreciate it. And thanks to everybody that's followed and subscribed to all those channels. It really helps me out. Guys, you really are the best bunch of blockers. There's still 400 of you on. That's incredible. So how about I'll leave it up for a minute. If you guys want to keep chatting to each other, go for it. Otherwise, I promise to do another one of these soon. I love these live chats. They really do make my heart happy. I can't promise it, but maybe I'll try to do one this weekend. I know the twins are talking about doing theirs Friday, so I, I never want to step on toes. But maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe sometime this weekend if we can swing it. If not, we'll do one very soon, I promise. Always look in the community tab. I will post it there. If I'm going to do a live chat, I try to give you as much notice, but I never know 
kind of depends on the gosling if i have time to do these but you guys truly are the best and you mean so much to me i want you to know that it's something that some youtubers say that bugs me because i don't believe it but with me i promise you i mean that i actually think about you guys like when i take on when you tell me you have things going on i take them on and i think about them and i, I think about you all so thank you so much um jill i want to give you a shout out again you're brilliant i loved what you posted in patreon earlier um and um i i just think that's such a good idea to write daily mail and say what the hell is going on why are you guys doing this so i'm going to be doing that too um what else thank you all who have taken the time to write me comments thank you all for just being so lovely you you are that's what you are lovely I hope to get to the UK very soon. I'm saving up my pennies for that. Hopefully this year we will make it back. Bring the gosling. Uh, Jake, would you like to say goodbye to everybody in a British accent? All right. Good night now. Good night. <laughs> Is that like, what's Mary Poppins guy's name? Is that like Dick Van Dyke? Yeah. What? Well, good night to you, Mary Poppins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You guys are the best. Thank you for everything. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, I'll leave this up if you guys want to chat to each other a little bit longer. And I will be chatting again very soon. Take care. Let me know if there's a video you'd like me to make. I'm always open for suggestions on that. If there's something you want to see covered, if there's something you want to watch, let me know. And do check out my other channel if you don't mind. Have the best day. Win the lotto. Here's hoping. Uh, I, I really appreciate that. Not at all insulting. I know, right? Believe me, when we when we all have a meetup, you can do a horrible American accent at us. We won't be insulted. It's fine. I have a horrible American accent, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, oh, people are asking for an Australian. What can you say? Oh, that's a lot. Put another shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> Oh my gosh, lovely. All right, thank you guys for everything. Oh, I love it. Helen says fiery and passionate. That's good. That's good. Thank you guys for everything. All right, have a great night. Take care. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.